Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the best cats. Are That's you the right. best cats? Yes, they are. As they attack my jacket. Arr. No, cats, you're still the best. <laughs> uh, it's on uh, sketchy ground if you're attacking the jacket. Welcome, we have Erlen today. <laughs> hey Something in for Darcy. It's uh, It's been snowy. It's a snow day. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't sound like it should be remarkable because we're in Canada, <laughs> but in Vancouver, it's a big it's, deal. It is a bit different here because... Nobody has winter tires because it snows for three days of the year. So nobody's spending hundreds of dollars for three days. That's right. And uh, I looked it up the other day. We have 60 snow plows. <laughs> so, Which I don't think is enough for a city with uh, how many people? 10 million? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think we're that. Well, if you include like the, right, whole the whole lower mainland. Yeah, but Vancouver's like... I don't know, a million or something. Am I, I ever going to shave? No, someday. <laughs> no. I, I, I do what they call trim. I'll do a little... I'll trim, trim, a little. trim, trim. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games. Let me get that little sign out so everybody knows what we're playing. There we go. Atari 8-bit. And we've got four games today. Cyborg Warriors, A Dude nice. Story, which is an exclusive update. And it sounds masculine to me. I'm just going to... Dude Story, <laughs> I'm man. I'm just going to throw it out there. Just it's... a couple of dudes playing a game. Yeah, a, little, a little more <laughs> testosterone than Brofist. estrogen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and to balance it out, we're playing Lady Tut. Whoa, well. okay, good. Dude it's... Story, I never even made that connection. We have a yin and a yang That's going right. on. You need the Some masculine and energy. feminine yeah, yeah. combining to create the kaleidoscope uh, of and, life. And also we're going to be playing Vexed at the end. Um... I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show and help feed these kitties their treats. Uh, Alan the Fur, Andrew, Atari, Arkham, H, Arms, Guard, Coder, Atari, Dunder, Dexel, Rules, Atari, 1974, Atari, Atari's Maximus, Beef Supreme, Bear, Polka, Brunus, Dex, Charles, Donny, Mal, Charles, Will, and Chitla, La, Cole, Patch, Serena, Reba, Dino, Identity, Devil, LaDonna, DJ, Lemon, Fresh, Drexel, Dr. Mookaz, Gamma, Dev, uh, Gray Defender, Johnny, WC, Kabito, Kenzo, Carl G, Karakak, Croco, 2600, Gewalt, Fur, Lambda Express, Mark, Yannis, Mark Space, Inc., Mick, Muse, Mike, Sol, Mike, Town, Miss Command, Mother 3, Mr. Sarm, Mr. Fix, Neo, Media, Nostalgia, Pack Rat, Peak B, Kohog, Arantuitz, Rendered Ghost, Friendless VG, Revan, Tuli, Ricardo Pim, Rodcast, Smitty B, Spice Horse, Finley, 1970, Rest Ramirez, the D Train, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, Tarek, MD, Vex, Rx, Vintage Gaming Members, VVG, Double Down, X, Ken, X. And if you would like to support the show, you can just hit subscribe. And have your name read in a blur of... <laughs> a big mix of letters and numbers. My, my personal delight would be if it reaches a point where the intro takes half the show. <laughs> where, and that's the show. Where, Thank you for coming Thank you, we read all the names. <laughs> that's right. It's been an hour. Uh, or you can just follow us and it'll update you Hello, when we go live. Hello, uh, Bokianupul. Yeah, I, uh, something something like that. Bosian? Hello, Bo. I'm just calling you Bo. Bo. There we go. We can agree. We can all agree on Bo. I Bo up. <laughs> Bo up. Uh, so I have a poll topic. Ooh, let's see. Let's start the poll. How many multi carts do you have? A one for every system? Oh, I have all the systems. You have all the systems. <laughs> every all system. the multi carts. Yeah. Every multi cart for every system that's out there. I'm. Uh, I, I should be actually zero. Is zero? I, be, uh, I can't even be on this pole. That's true. You have no multi carts. If it said no multi, <laughs> no multi carts for any of your systems, or every multi cart for every system, you don't have any systems. So. It's kind of like I when you're know. doing a test. You yeah. know, if you get zero, that's actually a hard <laughs> thing to do. It's and a multiple choice. Very exactly hard. right. So it's like zero and a hundred are about the same. <laughs> so I'll let you f ponder as to if I have none mm. of the carts or all of the carts. Uh, number two, about seventy five. percent Number three, about 50%. And number four, about 25%. Or five, no multi carts, only original carts. None of these stinky multi carts. Wait, wait, wait. So I have a question. What yes. is a multi cart? <laughs> um, it is a cart like this um, oh, okay, that you cool. can put an SD card in. Oh. And you can have a bunch of games on the SD card and load them you'd whenever you want. Rather than just one game, put it in, get out the other cartridge, put another game in like that. You'd hope after the years of me being on here, <laughs> I would be able to answer the most <laughs> primary question. Well, we don't but... talk about we talk about multi cards once. That in a makes while. sense. I, I now that you now that I see it, I'm like that makes sense. You know when up. we have the mul um, menu on the screen and we're picking games, that's that's multi cart. Oh, so so the concept would be you'd have one for each system. Yes, and then you could load it on to the light. It makes it really convenient, right? And I can play 
uh, games that are in progress too, because otherwise you're waiting till it's fully finished. It's in a store, you buy it, wait a couple weeks, it comes here. But I play like new games, so I have to have multi carts. Oh, yeah. There have been many options throughout the years, of, uh, and they're really good now. Um, but are they I, are they mostly made like proprietary for or not proprietary? Made like by like kind of homebrew type people. Yeah. Is there like official multi carts by the people, or is it more of a kind of like the communities come together to create well, them? Um, it's it's definitely community. I'm trying to think if there's ever been an official multi cart. It would have to be put out by the company that made the system, right? Atari would have to put out a multi cart. Now, it depends what you term multi-cart, because yeah. there's ones with no SD card, and there's a bunch of games on a cartridge. Eh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, it sounds more like a mixtape. Yeah, know? it's more like a mixtape, and, and Atari has put out one recently. It's like, oh, there's ten games, and there's little dip switches on the back. Is that a multi-cart? Kind of. But I'm more talking about the SD cards, where you can it's replace the games. As infinitely new customizable. Out. Yeah. Probably, uh, Atari ten and one, yeah, the ten ten and one for the twenty six hundred plus. I, it's not really multi card, but it is depending on your terminology. Ten and one, it, no, it's you know a whole I mean? ten. It's all, That's you get, right. You, you get ten for one. So. <laughs> yeah, the price is right. You know, like all those uh, ten games. That's awesome. I would say I am closer to one for every system. That makes sense. I. It's also just part of the gig. It is, but I, but I have other systems that I don't play on the show. Um, and I've recently got like, um, uh, N64 multi-cart yes. and, uh, Game Boy Color, uh, some, some Game Boy multi-cart trying to think of a system. I don't have a multi-cart for, I even have a multi-cart for the Fairchild channel F, <laughs> which is <laughs> an old system it was the first cartridge based system, uh, that had multiple, uh, that had games on the cartridges. Um, I mean, I have newer ones that I don't have multi cards for, like the 3DS and stuff like that. Um, I don't have a multi card for my Switch. Yeah, and the Are, is there thing. one? <laughs> I don't know. No multi card for the Wii. Yeah, I don't have a multi card for the Wii either. Um, does external hard drive full of CD images? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, count. buddy. Um, sure. Yeah, if it's an attachment that you can attach to the console and you can switch out games, you can load in stuff. Oh, yes. yeah. Did a multicolor come out with the Switch? I saw something in the news. Oh, interesting. Multicolor feels like a veritable spring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Versus like, you know, it feels like a PC versus a Mac. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of like you yeah. can you can customize it. And there's different the... multi-carts that come out too uh, that have different abilities. Um, so you can pick one over the other. Some people like one, some like the other. Do people like do updates through multi-carts to like um, the firmware of like the of the of the actual like the system, system itself. itself most of them are not updatable uh like the systems are not oh, updatable um because that's pre-internet era it's like oh it'd be very hard to update it without the internet you could uh but most of them are not updatable the multi-carts are updatable oh. a lot of them so it gives more abilities or if somebody comes out with a new kind of game or a new like it's a bigger file and this multicard can't handle it. They're like, oh, this is how to read this bigger file. So that's, that's, they have updates and new ones come out all the time. That sub AVG cart just came out uh, not too long ago and it's like way, way better than other multicards. So I do upgrade. I have multiple multicards for my 2600. Naturally, right. And the uh, Atari 8 bit and. Yeah, 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 but you also so incentivized because you have an actual. I show have to have that... them. Like literally, I have to have them. <laughs> so yeah, I've got them for all the Ataris that I have. Um, so let's see, what are the answers? Uh, oh, thank Yo! you for subscribing, RC seventy. RC seventy, sixty months, dude. That's exactly five years. Whoa. Wow, RC seventy. Thank you for the ongoing support that's half crazy. a decade dude yeah that's that is amazing yeah half a decade of support thank you so much somebody said oh why is the twitch the twitch thing is smaller yeah i made it a little bit smaller because it was like taking up the whole side and it made the screen feel unbalanced a little bit it's still a little bit unbalanced because there's more room on the left than the right and i might uh fiddle with that a little bit later um and just before the show, um, people were talking about in the chat that there's some, some people on a, the Atari H forums that are requesting 
uh, developers to make their new games compatible with the 2600 plus, uh, which is an interesting perspective on things. The 2600 plus is a new console that is compatible <laughs> with the Atari 2600. So you put old game cartridges into it and you can play the old game cartridges on a new console with HDMI out. It's it's ready for new TVs, which is a I, great thing. I'm a fan of HDMIs. Yes, because everybody has an HDMI <laughs> television, right? And it's just nice. It's such a clean digital signal. Yes. Yeah, and you can plug um, modern... Can you plug modern controllers? You can plug controllers into it anyway. And they put out uh, and, new uh, controllers too. Audio, video, and you can... Yeah, it's clean. Everything it's can adapt to it. Yeah, you can plug it into any TV. But some of the games, and it's smaller too. That's another advantage of the new one. Um, doesn't take up as much uh, shelf space. Yeah. But Which some... Be, you know, I, th I love this piece though. That's the other thing too, is like, it's an advantage, but also oh, yeah. like, you know, you want to... It's a showpiece. When the ladies come by... <laughs> you go, hey. Dude, you got to be like... Check out my so six know. light sixer. Oh and my I've God, got a man. heavy sixer too. Dude, if, I don't, you, if but... you got the heavy sixer, it's like, it's it's yeah, a wrap, man. I it's feel... game over. Yeah, you're in. <laughs> Uh, but I don't have a heavy sixer, so... Mm. It's tough, man. It's, it you is gotta, tough out there. Yeah. <laughs> you <gotta laughs> so you never know. <laughs> um, oh, I like it smaller. Oh, the scroller. I do too. It was a bit overwhelming. Um, but people are saying, oh, some games aren't compatible with the 2600 plus and th there is a list of games. It's getting smaller, um, but they're, they're telling developers, hey, don't make games compatible with the 2600 plus which is an interesting stance to make this 2600 it's been out for 40 uh a long time <laughs> 46 years now um and now it's like no you can't make and and these games are compatible with every single system that's been released all the vcs's from 1977 all the way to the atari junior and now atari releases a new console that's not compatible with all the games. And there's people coming in going, no. hey, no, it's not working. Not it's like, like this. <laughs> and it's it's a bit of a, it's a bit silly to, to say, oh, everybody has to limit their games now for this new console that came out just recently. So you can't make these advanced new games that all of a sudden are compatible with this. Yeah. It's very silly. Yeah, my take on all that is, you know, if you're a game person, you should do whatever you want. And then yeah. and then if you want to play a game, figure out how to get it, especially if we're talking free games. Because these these developers have gone to great lengths to make sure their game is compatible with every single release of of the console and every single single style of the console and even the 7800, I'm just talking 2600 games. Yeah. Um and now there's one that's like a subset and it's like, oh, now you can't do this part of it. You it's have definitely to be limited nice, to this. It's part. for sure nice to have if he does. If you can, yep. if you can, if it be, works. Yeah, it's, it's great with the new tech. But yeah, the posts are in the beta one point one firmware thread. Okay, I'll I'll check those out later. The, those threads for the twenty six hundred plus are so long, and every day there's just tons. I I can't keep up with yeah. them. But once in a while, I visit them and see what everybody's complaining about <laughs> today. <laughs> Um, so, uh, one for every system. I didn't expect that. 40%. That's the one that that's took the top. That's our crew, man. That's our... The hardcore crew here. These are our guys. Uh, second place, 75%. Third place, 25%. Uh, fourth place, 50%. And everyone has a multi-cart. It's 0%, no multi-cart. So I feel like it's it's definitely like, makes you know, the, the sample size or the <laughs> yeah. sample group. That's it's what I mean. very specific. That's for, for sure. That's like going into like a, a hockey arena being like, who has a hockey stick <laughs> Who likes stick hockey at home? here? <laughs> yeah, who has hockey paraphernalia? Yeah. A hockey jersey Yeah, who home. has a jersey? You're like... <sighs> Right, like when the crowd goes most crazy. Most of the people do. Carl yeah. G brought up the Atari Flashback, and it, was, it reminded me of that as well. Atari Flashback Portable was a little, little system. had an SD card. You could load Atari games on there. Uh, but it was not very compatible. There were certain uh, commands that it couldn't do, certain machine load, machine machine language commands. It just, go bleh, just died on. And... Um, and uh, 
there was a list of being made by uh, Arena Foot of compatible games, and people were like, "Oh, you got to make it pat- compatible with the Atari Flashback Portable." It's like, well, it's not a very com- this the yeah. system is the problem. That's that's not compatible. It's not the game that this is the problem. It's the system. So complain to the people who made the system to update the system. It's a nice to have. Don't complain about the <laughs> thou- literally thousands of homebrew that have been out since 1995 been made. It's the wrong way around. Illegal opcodes, yes. I think that's what, what Ooh, was it. I like to say, I don't know what that is, but I don't want to get my hands on some illegal <laughs> opcodes, dude. What is this? Hey. <laughs> You need some illegal op codes. I I, I got a bunch of illegal. Dude, op I don't codes. want just the op codes. I want the illegal. Op also, codes. some undocumented op no, codes. No, the un- undocumented. Oh, yeah, see, it's like I smuggled some in some undocumented stuff. Those oh. are um op. Those are um codes like uh, commands that you can use on the system, but and they do things, but they're not documented. They're not like official but they have side effects that are kind of advantageous or they save time. They're like, oh, well, this doesn't, isn't really supposed to do anything, but it does. And it's, and it's good that I need to use it, but it, uh, some secret tech. It's secret. Yeah. It's kind of secret. Uh, this conversation has performed in legal action and needs to be shut down. <laughs> they are documented. They're illegal, but, un- but documented anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to be said that I theoretically, <laughs> jokingly, yes, want some illegal op codes, but in reality, not, not I'm not real. I'm not requesting any op codes, and this is purely for entertainment purposes only. But if you do have <laughs> some op codes, email me, you might out. be in the market. <laughs> You'd be interested in hearing about the op codes. I would like... Y- y- or your experiences I'd like you to op- tell me. And if you happen to link me some, <laughs> I won't look at them. No, no, no. <laughs> I would never look at them. <laughs> but if you happen to know where they might be. Might be, yeah. We'll check them out. Yeah, Atari but... <laughs> suddenly noticed speaker wires that have been there for months. This is the cat adventure, right? He's, he's a little bit uh, anxious because he knows that I've added a new option to the... Uh, rewards menu you yeah. might say well, cats let's are, see who finds it first cats are fun like my neighbor's cats i was looking after them and every day at like 10 p.m we give greenies to them yeah and the one cat just devours it and the other cat like almost doesn't understand and then you give him the greenie and eventually his eyes light up and, like, oh. and i'm like dude <laughs> this is slow i'm like this Warning. has been happening for Warning. 10 the treat ball is loose the yo loose. is this a new oh, oh new let's... tech it's a new one. We've got a treat ball here. It's got Whoa. four treats in it. The beasts have awoken. Now the cats know what this is. Yeah. They don't know that signal, but they'll know next time. They know what this is. Is this, this new tech? <laughs> oh, see? He likes it. Okay, it's it's not new tech to them, but it's new tech for the show. We tried to do it once and made a game out of it. It doesn't work as a game. So we're not gonna everything. make it as just uh, a treat. That somebody can give. So thank you, Atari 1974. A whole thousand points. Dude, I could win Just that. I can win that with 10 points, man. All I need. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's just a thousand, but it does have a cooldown. You can't just you can't just uh trigger it anytime you like, because the cats will get fat. Yeah, but what I was saying is cats are funny, they like sometimes they don't click things in their is it heads. Too hard to get out? Yeah, I'll make it open. As, oh, as it oh, falls. Of course. There we go. Spray, Never mind. Like, <laughs> Never mind. It's not too hard to get out. <laughs> um, so we played the four-player phaser game, a laser, um, laser gun game. Ah, yeah. With four people. Erlen was there. Uh, we had some difficulties um, because um, the adapters that I bought work, but they don't work through the quad tari. So, and I did make one of my own that did work. The trigger was backwards because I bought the wrong transistor. So a prototype. Yeah, it was a prototype. You know what I mean? It was, yeah, everything is a little prototype. Um, so what I did after that is I made three proper ones. So now we can actually play four player uh, Ducks Away. Cats. You're not, you're not, you got to keep it in here. We got to find a way to... Um, it can't be contained. <laughs> Keep it contained. Yeah. It's difficult. We'll put, like though. a little box or the, something. The nature of it is it knocks, right? So it does. Just... <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We had a good thing going on, Atari. 
<laughs> so yeah, we've got to corral that ball. So I made uh, three uh, more so that we can actually play four player light gun ducks away next time uh, it happens. Now you lost the ball. Uh, Classic. So we're just in beta phase right now. We're figuring it out, you know. Oh my God. This is early release. Yeah, early release, <laughs> beta phase. The cats are doing their testing. Maybe I can play soccer with them. Oh, 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 and Atari's got it. There we go. It's over, it's over. Um, so let me just uh, go there and I'll show you what I did. I did all write up about it because uh, what works, the Sega Phaser plus the Mega 7800, which is the adapter uh, made by Saint. Sega Phaser plus homemade adapter works. These. Uh, Sega Phaser plus homemade adapter plus Quadtari works. But the combination that does not work is the Sega Phaser, the Mega 7800, and the Quadtari. The trigger worked. Classic issue. Oh, I know. It's, <laughs> it's a classic blunder there. <laughs> we've all, we've <laughs> all been there, though. We'll find a way. Ball is small enough to get wedged under the couch. Oh, it does, it does stop it. Yeah. No, there's no more treats in there. I'm sorry. They're like, what, what, what? <laughs> you got more treats? Uh, no, I didn't fix the first one I made because it was attached to, like... Um, temporary uh nine pin adapters that you just screw down and it kept coming out so i bought proper ones and uh ones that you can solder and um i ordered some shrink shrink tubing heat shrink tubing which is on its way so i'll be able to make these proper so i don't have to worry about them pulling out um yeah the the first one really was a prototype actually because it was just in temporary stuff it was, it was early phases man yeah so i hadn't figured out that you need to combine a real cop <laughs> with the robot it was just the robot right. phase you gotta have a cop with the robot you see ed 209 he's you stumbling did. down the stairs you, you gotta have the oh, cop in it. it needs a human's touch <laughs> so there's my uh workbench and tanya was doing some uh resining over there oh it's good you have lots of nice tools for other stuff and with with it's tanya's decent work tools doing her call oh, because she did so much beautiful like oh she's got artwork. tools yeah. That, yeah you can kind of i feel like you can borrow and steal a oh 100 percent couple like, that's her mat um i use some of our her um heat gun as well she's got it got a heat gun and that like that mirror is really nice that's all my stuff oh, all nice. this stuff here is all my stuff but uh yeah she has stuff i do borrow and there you go there is the picture of all four guns all hooked up using my adapter and all four registering as pop guns yes so, not to be confused with real guns we're not no, shooting no, no. Ducks. pop guns <laughs> um and these are usable on the 2600 7800 and atari 8-bit system so it is relevant for today calm down everyone That's it's right. relevant to the atari 8-bit so it will be sold on the no, no. <laughs> the zero page homebrew i was i got <laughs> did get faster by the end i think i could get one done in t 15 minutes if i actually maybe even 10 if i measured all these out went cut 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 and bent them all and just solder 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 i could probably bang uh six out in an hour yeah but you know the, you, the margins are bad we're industrial the margins are bad we don't need to industrialize you know yeah and i think this retail i paid i don't know a dollar dollar <sighs> 54 i don't know what i could sell it for yeah, ZPHZC store. That's so, Anya's So job. if we sell she wants these to open a Zetsy store. for twenty five dollars, then oh twenty five. Then we have a one dollar overhead. Twenty five dollars. I do it. I do it for twenty five. <laughs> I'd put on some movies and I'd do it for twenty five all day all, all, plus, shipping. plus shipping. Plus shipping. That's right. We're not paying for the shipping. If nope. anyone wants, <laughs> I don't think anybody's paying twenty five dollars for this. I don't think so either. No. But. It's an option. like to email James. <laughs> yeah, no, don't email me. I'm not making anything for you. Um, okay. Uh, the next news story uh, is about... This is interesting. It was just Dude, a John single Stamos's post. Dude, John Stamos' mullet has quite the gif. <laughs> it does. This is a whole vibe right here, man. <laughs> John Stamos' mullet. Uh, any uh, update on getting concerto to load single 7800 games with the Harmony software. 
John, it's so hard to take anything you say seriously <laughs> I at know. the moment. But I, I'm so taking silly. it seriously. It's good. And and I know why he's asking this because it says works great for 2600 games with the 2600 plus would work would be great if it also could load 7800 games this way. Um, because right now you can load in one game at a time onto uh, the Harmony cart or the Harmony Encore or Harmony. Uh, it's a pain in the ass because that kind of destroys the Harmony card and then you have to load the menu system on again if you want to use it properly. But Batari, the developer of it, replied with this. I'm actively working on this now. Uh, you should see an update soon plus an updated improved support for the Harmony cart as well. Um, so that part's the interesting part. Improved support for the Harmony cart. So it already works on the Harmony cart by directly loading the game onto uh, the storage internally. Not, no SD card needed. So what does he mean by that? Does that mean you could load a game off of an SD card while having the Harmony card plugged into the 2600 and then somehow it almost like executes the code? and then reboots the system somehow, like a reset? That's absolutely what it does. Uh, no. <laughs> like, it could, because the 2600 Plus, how it sense, like, you can hot swap carts. So it senses when a new cart's plugged in. Now, can the Harmony tell the system, there's no cart, now there is a cart, and it would auto-load the new cart? It's uh, a new tech. Yeah. I, I mean, it already is built in somewhat. Um... And it would load the memory, uh, the game into memory, and then the 2600 Plus would be like, oh, new cart. And it would read what's on it. Now, I'm hoping what it would do is the Harmony cart would go back to the menu system after a reset, uh, like a manual reset as well. Because there are carts out there right now that kind of work like that. Now, that comes back to multi-cart. Full circle. Mm -hmm. Now there's multi carts out there. Every time you turn it off and on, a new game loads. It auto bank switches off on new game, off on new game. That might be the way it's kind of working. And it and he could set it to two banks of games. I'm not using the right terminology, pro probably. So you turn it off. It's the menu. You turn it back on, or it does an auto turn off and on. Maybe you have to do it manually. And it would go to the game that's loaded and not the menu. Now that would work with the 2600 plus, and maybe he's doing it as well on the concerto. Ooh. Now this is all speculation. This is a, th a little theory crafting <laughs> little over theory. here. Now every tower collections, he knows a lot of stuff. So he says that's basically how the DF cart works. Now the DF cart is the dragonfly cart, and it has. He says basically that's how it works. So the menu is on the display and you go you pick your game you press go it transfers from the sd card onto another part in here that stores the temporary game you turn on your system it reads it from the temporary game position you can leave the df plugged in then if you switch the game on the df they turn off the game 2600 as the 2600 thinks the game has been removed once the df has a new game loaded up then the 2600 starts to load up the new game oh that's interesting. So as soon as the Dragonfly loads the game, the 2600 auto senses that a new game's put in? Oh, interesting. Like, this is kind of special because this isn't available anymore. And it's the only it's part a, that works like fly, this. So. It's, it flies away. Yeah. Dude. Ah, very nice. So hopefully that functionality comes to the Harmony Encore and the Concerto because that'll open a world, a whole new world for people using the 2600 Plus. Um, it'll be really, really awesome. Are you going to purchase the 2600 Plus when it comes out and try it out? Or are you thinking of like, what's your what's your thoughts on that? I was well, just... one, I don't need it. Yeah. Um, but for the, Two, for do the... I want it? It's convenient, but I'm going to wait till it has like... 99% compatibility right now it doesn't it's not compatible with a lot of really 
a lot of, a bunch of games that I would play on the show, and I wouldn't use it on the show anyway because I use all uh, yeah. original hardware because that's that's what you do. Anybody can. Otherwise, you're just People you're basically the... using an emulator, and that's what the twenty six hundred plus is. Why wouldn't I just load up Stella? have it displaying in front of me because it uses I mean, Stella. That's also, uh, <laughs> that question dismantles a lot of. <laughs> yeah. But would I buy it for myself? Maybe. Because the price is not bad and I could use it for like game night or something. Yeah, it could or be Or playing 2,600 games upstairs on a different TV or yeah, something Yeah, and you could, like you could talk to on the show just like what your experience is like with it too. Uh, yeah, I mean... There's been a million people talking about it because it's like it's anything associated with the Atari name. It gets m m mainstream press like my show doesn't matter at that point. <laughs> That's why I don't review that kind of stuff, because it doesn't matter. I get lost in a sea of it. And they don't ship it to me anyway. Mm. No, <laughs> they don't care about me. No, I've been holding down the fort here with no. homebrew, keeping the Atari name alive. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't need that. What's his name? Um, Having David on the show. <laughs> yeah, I try to bring on David on. What's the going show. on with David? Have you have you heard anything what? from him? No, yeah, I I, I talked with him at PRGE. Um, yeah, I talk with him once in a while. We, we should get him back on the show at some point. Well, I have to have a here. reason, right? And it has to have something to do with homebrew or a new twenty six hundred game, and they haven't released a new twenty six hundred game. They've released older ones that have been out before or prototypes, but that's not a new game. That's true. Uh, 400 Mini, also intriguing. Uh, it replaces an Atari 8-bit system. Uh, it uses an unknown emulator at this point, so we don't know compatibility. It may not be compatible with VBXE um, because Altera, which is the emulator I use, um, I think that's the only one that with VBXE support and some homebrew uses VBXE. So if the 400 Mini doesn't use VBXE, well, it's not compatible with all the games. Why would I use it? Uh, convenient. It's this, it's in the exact same boat as the 2600 Plus. Uh, compatibility, not 100%. Usability, it's cool. You can hook up to an HDMI TV. It, you could use USB controllers, modern USB controllers. You can plug in extra games through SD card, all that stuff. Um, and there's limitations. Like a 2600 Plus can't use Atari Vox and save key support. So any games you want to continue on with or save your high score, no. Nah. Yeah. Too bad, but dude, that's the old that's the old days. Yeah, you gotta you can't even you have to take a photo of it with your Polaroid to prove that. Um, <laughs> to prove testing that you... stuff on the yeah yeah yeah. So yeah, so there there are compelling reasons to get the twenty six hundred plus and four hundred mini, uh, but at the same time, I don't need them for the show whatsoever. Yeah, no, no, like it... I would not use them on the show other than go. Other than to show that they're not compatible, because that's the only interesting part. It's like, here's a new homebrew. It's not compatible. It's interesting, hey, because as you're talking about it, it makes me think, too, like, um, that it's, doesn't, it's actually not necessarily offering anything new in a way. Like, it is. It does seem to have, like, like, like functionality that's, that's like some QOL. Yeah, but... usability, super high. Um, compatibility, decent. That's kind of where I'm at. And it... It's selling like hotcakes, the 2600 plus. It's doing really well. I see posts all the time. And the fact that people are like demanding homebrewers hobble their games <laughs> shows Sub you that they're. Me. I mean, it's, and it's also actually a good sign and something that I was hoping would happen is that the 2600 plus would get people interested in homebrew. That's awesome. Yeah, that's huge. And I'm hoping the 400 Mini does the same for Atari 8-bit homebrew. Because there's such great homebrew out there that we play on the show year after year, right? Week after week. Uh, not every uh, game for the Atari 8 has a cart format. Many were in disc or cassette only. Uh, I would hope that the 400 Mini is able to uh, accept cart, tape, um disc format like well, all the formats like it's an emulator it's... tape was such a crazy format man like like it magnetic was... tapes and like the fact that every yeah. time you played them it gets they... worse <laughs> it's such it's a sad degraded. like in a way it's so like existential you're like i'll listen to the song and it will be worse next time i listen to it <laughs> slowly getting slowly hissier and hissier time. sorry cat um but it was cheap that's why Very it took cheap. off like crazy 
Like you could, and you could copy it That's super right. easy, right? There's no, you know, protection on it. It's, it's data straight across. I think too, some of the formats people would like, either, either you think about those cassette tapes people would put in their cars. Like, it's not like they have the greatest speakers anyways in the yeah. car. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> well, some do while, while you're driving. And... Will they make a Jaguar plus? I think it depends on the sales of the 400 mini. Um, I know this 2600 plus is probably, they would say it's a success. Like every day I see posts in, on Facebook of people holding up their 2600 plus. It's like, I got it. I got it. Right. And they're post about compatibility and stuff. Jaguar didn't have the popularity of the 2600 plus or the, um, Atari 8 bit. Um, but, but if they make a Jaguar Lynx hybrid maybe that could be popular enough that they could sell it yeah that's true i shouldn't be judged i shouldn't be throwing shade on all speakers yeah, i had great speakers of course but a cassette deck yeah that's the so, thing but that's that's all there was at a certain point in time uh okay let's let's get on with the game uh let's, let's get on with the show and play, play some, some games, games. hey eh? Cyborg Warrior. Oh, dude, I'm in. Yeah, already. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what's going on, but we got cyborgs and warriors. Oh, uh, yeah. Cyborgs already is 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 awesome. But warriors, too? And this is a two-player game. Man, I've been thinking a lot about trying this cyberpunk. I've, apparently, it's really good, and they finally figured it out. Like, I heard such terrible things about its release yeah. for so long. But I got to uh, visit it and see how it oh, is. Oh, that's definitely the next purchase for... Um, but for like a big triple a game yeah i mean and talk about like these days just letting things figure it out before you actually buy you well know, like, yeah buy, no pre-orders buy it's bad, bad news i'm not buying any new games new give it a year <laughs> oh yeah because they release betas cyborg warriors cyborg. okay so this. this is by this is the final version kashishtof agura Gura, slightly roll the R's. I have pronunciations for all these names now. Oh, sick. Uh, uh, who did the, uh, also known as Vega, uh, who did the code. Uh, uh, Kshift, Kshishtof Zembik, um, who did, uh, it was Kaz, who did the graphics. And uh, Michał Spilowski, uh, whose name is Miker, or uh, online name who did the music and sound effects this builds from january 17th 2024 two days Whoa, ago dude i was yeah, this is hot fresh. off the press uh you must shoot the robots and aliens not oh, just robots dude. and aliens uh in order to progress through all the levels most take more than one hit from the standard issue laser dude oh, I, well. I i don't want no standard issue laser you gotta upgrade then tokens which float across the screen should be collected sega laser <laughs> light phasers <laughs> dude i need a light phaser that's what i need uh they have the following effects 200 points is an s extra life is l don't miss those extra weapon is a 800 bonus points eh, who cares? you'd hope it would be what oh they're different colors 200 and 800 are just different s's okay. what you saying after level four the scores for killing aliens and collecting tokens increases well it might be good to get points if you get extra lives for a certain yeah point. it could be huge okay so l is life which makes sense k Get is that. weapon l's and a's S definitely is points. go for that okay press button uh nice fade once a weapon is collected a new icon will appear oh. at the bottom of the screen select a weapon by tapping the joystick fire uh the, it is an auto fire game so that's okay. what the button's for switching weapons the cursor under the weapon will move and the weapon will change the weapons are standard issue laser multi-directional laser Antimatter torpedo. Okay. And smart. Smart bomb launcher. Nice. So it's gonna. I feel like that might be like getting better and better with each tier. Do you <laughs> know what I mean? Like looking yeah, at. Yeah. Like, I feel like the should. smart bomb launcher. But who knows if the antimatter torpedo. Sometimes it, like torpedoes are slow and you don't get many of them. But the standard issue laser is fast but not powerful. The multi direction that might doesn't be... concentrate on one thing, it spreads it out. So, I think it depends on the level. Maybe I'm excited to find out what our okay. what, press what our, button, what our meta is. Original version on BBC Micro. Oh, yes, sorry. Before we do that, let's actually take a look at the BBC Micro version so we know where we we know the lineage of this. Couldn't agree more. Gamma Dev Robots and Aliens is like peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, yeah. Course. Couldn't agree more. So this is the BBC Micro version. 
that's the loading screen for it. Ah, cool. Keyboard, joystick, two player. Oh my god. Love for us. So there we go. Suspended. There's your dude. He's suspended. Uh, it, when Tanya saw this, um, saw me playing this, or saw this video that I was looking up on this, um, she's like, why is, his, why is his knees bent? Wouldn't that get really, really tiresome? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> knees like, I feel like that, he, though, it's like, oh, my abs. He's doing his ab workout. Really. That's it. He's got his, like... Yeah, I feel like maybe he's sitting on something. <laughs> and it's a, it's a hover hover seat. Yeah, maybe. I, at least the bent knees are reducing the hit area. That's all I'll say. That's an, oh, dude, he just got blasted from behind. Oh of the no! Don't go, don't go there. Off screen, op. I, I know the screen's small because I'm l capturing the whole screen, and some things are wider. Yeah. And so I have to fit a sixteen by nine in a square window because we usually play games and they're four by three it's just the translation um okay so let's get back to the game guy in a sleeping bag yeah he's he's comfy in a sleeping many bag. times i've hovered in space shooting aliens in a sleeping bag <laughs> was there by atari conversion 2024 vega kaz miker uh fire space change weapon space pause game we're not pausing the game delete resume game escape quit paused game l skip level okay uh, so go for it, and I will, uh, loading. Cyber, oh, that was too quick. Whoa! Okay, look at this art, man. This is very cool. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't do anything. It just, it just Let's flipped, the music switched on its own. I really like that art. We got some high scores to beat. Cybex One got nothing million? on me. Yeah, we got some great art. Like that... That's beautiful. I particularly love the colors of it, like the blue it's in beautiful. contrast to this sort of like magenta, like neon colors. It's very good. Yeah, that's why it made me think of cyberpunk, because there is the cyberpunk feel already. Uh, sorry. Sorry about your ears. <laughs> it was too loud to begin. Okay, let's do it. Get in there. Okay. One player for now. Let's find out. My floating, yes! Oh, faithful! No! Oh, we'll no! The aliens. No! The, I have to say, the hitbox is pretty big. Oh, for yeah. for for like. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> See, we can have oh. more color if you leave the U off. Oh, oh yeah, that's you what get happens. an extra, a get extra space for letters. Yeah. Just survive in space. Sometimes you just gotta survive. So, it's got, it kind of looks a little like Master Chief. It does in the mm. green suit. Uh, Cyborg Warriors did not get a standalone release. It was only released on the Play It Again Sam 15 compilation. It's a classic 2D side-scroller shoot-em-up where you control a cyborg and fly through a variety of levels swarmed by alien enemies. Now, this is the write-up about Ooh, S, the original what's S again? game. Weapon? Oh, extra, extra points. I'll take some points. Oh, yeah, that's right. Weapon is A, life is L, S is points. Shouldn't be oh. P for points? L's and, right. and W for weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh! Uh, yeah, W for weapon. But that's okay. A, but, I'll just have to remember it. They're copying the original game. That's exactly so right. You can't change it. You can't change the original and, game. And you just gotta, it's like anything. Once you associate it, it's its the thing. You just gotta, it's part of the tap. No, I'm doing <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I'd say. I, th I think we're on track for a million point oh, game. Yeah. You're at 300 already. Like, like what is it? Just, just give me some... <laughs> It's just a matter of time. Oh, dude. It's Hell, gonna, it's gonna life. Be good. You need that. It's very bad. Oh. There you go. Extra life. Uh, your main goal is to shoot everything that moves uh, towards you, and you must at all costs avoid any physical contact. No. Apart from flying enemy forces. No. Okay. Uh, there are some ground to air missile pods around. You must collect tokens that will give you more powerful weapons. Additionally, the game offers two player mode. Oh, oh dude. my god. Oh, evasion build. Okay, nice. I got some evasion in me. So, this is the write up uh, from Atari Online. Splitting, no. Atari, Atari Online.pl about this game that we're playing, the Atari version. This is. Uh, regarding the slowdown, you probably can't notice it uh, watching, but playing the game, there's parts where it's faster and it's very. and it's slower. Uh, BBC Micro has a 6502 processor clocked at 2 megahertz 
And there I don't think anything slows down like we do, where the antic processor takes some time. In the original game, a lot of time take, uh, take drawing the whole background as a frame, and here we use additional memory to write this part of the code without using the same loop. Oh, okay, but I have to say I was popping off with my multiple weapon. The bar at the bottom centers at the level progress indicator. I think it is. Like a moon patrol kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, because now it's back. Okay, auto shoot. In a way, it's nice that it just, like, it just, it knows. It's I mean, like, it's like, it's what we'd be doing anyways. So, that's, like, let's I just... I was saying that the other day, actually. It's... For a game that people just spam the bu the the fire button, oh. why not make it auto fire? Yeah, and just give you, you know, give save your, your wrists. Give your hands a rest, yeah. Um... Uh, and this is the developer talking about in the interview with uh, TarionLon.pl uh, regarding the audio. During the game itself, the music is turned off uh, for the maximum use of four pokey channels for generating sound effects. Shots from the first player's weapon are played on channel four, the second player channel three, explosions channel two, while the remaining effects are on channel one. It is very useful to have as many as four independent channels because the Atari version of the game we have much more sound effects than in the original. And um, when I played the C64, uh, and I think the Atari uh, did this as well, uh, C64 only had three channels. What they would do is actually get rid of all the sound effects in games and these just play the tough. music. These are tough, man. Because yeah. you can't target them and no. you don't know when they're going to fire up. Yeah. Oh, I never write down what the requirement is for these games. I apologize. I, I, it was in the interview nice. on AtariOnline.pl, and I think it's one. It might either be 64 or 128. It's not 48, because they did make a comment about uh, <laughs> wanting to use more of the memory. Wow, when uh, you split, it's to brutal. do additional things. Yeah, yeah. I need a weapon so oh, badly. Oh, it's coming back out. No! No, OP. Oh, is that it? Give me is a weapon. A? Give me a weapon. Yes. Oh, oh. Why did you do that? Oh, you still get a chance. Why? Well, just the thing New is... New arms. So... Oh, now you're on spread shot. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it is because I can actually target these things. Oh. Oh, but... That's tough. Okay, and I don't lose it when I die. Who needs music when you can just put on some Dire Straits in the background? That's right. <laughs> this is Dire Straits, man. I gotta get... I gotta hit this million. <laughs> Brothers in arms. See, like, this multi strike like... Doing better than last time. Oh, yeah, and... Oh! Why'd you move back? He was moving back. I can move forward. forward. <laughs> uh, so, I have to say my, to play two players. Unfortunately, my, my skill level of these... No! Of not player... No! You said two players? Yeah, the third one is the option for multiple players. Oh! At once. Let's see if we can break out of this. Uh, I think you're playing... Okay, oh, I'm gonna die. Let's die. Let's die. Yeah, Let's die. I would, oh I would, yeah, I see player two only. I would say that uh, in terms of a there skill level, taken out by evil you're, you're gonna be a little bit higher with uh, this okay. kind of game. You know, it's okay. There's no friendly fire. But but the thing is, is I'm a sleeper build. I just <laughs> never know. Come on, enemies! It's happening. There we go. I'm like Luka Doncic. I'm like. I look like I can sell DVDs at Best Buy and then give me a basketball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Luca Dodge okay. build over here. <laughs> Let's do this. Pause and escape. Oh, okay. Oh, I see two players. Two players. Cool. Yeah, it's deceptive. It's a player too. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where? Do we have do? Okay, okay. Who's who? Okay, I'm green. Yep. Oh, I'm the whoa! Blue. I can feel lag. Lag. <laughs> Server lag. <laughs> Server lag. Ping times increasing. Although I do think this is a little bit. Have they scaled but, the difficulty? No, they haven't. Which is awesome for us. I've got your back. I got your front. I'll take lead. We don't even need like the upgraded lasers <laughs> with two people. No, it's just concentrate fire. Double fire. Unload. <laughs> Although I have to say, so like, you'll see pretty quickly these like, ah! Oh, no, you gotta, you don't, don't take no. the risks. Here, you can have one. Okay, don't take the risks, man. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. There's no need to sacrifice. Don't be a hero, man. Don't be a hero. Man. Someone's gotta throw themselves in front of these, these goddamn aliens. <laughs> these goddamn aliens. I'm fighting for freedom. 
America. America! See, we're, we're Spartans, man. I'll take the top, you take the bottom. These feel a lot like, they look, they do look a lot like Master Chief to me. Yeah. The helmet. Okay, so I'm noticing the there's top. like a consistent thing, Double. right? Like we get like points, then lives, then um, health, uh, then, a, then a weapon. Okay. So in a way, like we just have to survive until we get a weapon. Yeah. Cause, and these are the toughest, man. These not with guys, two people. Not with two people, they're not. But, oh, oh my God. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> Gotta avoid. I, Gotta uh, avoid evasive maneuvers if they get too close. I need to work on my evasion rating. Yep. You got your offense going. Get need, your defense I need, going. I need an evasion. Okay. Build. Now we got arms. Let's go. Let's. Oh yeah, the whole screen. Whole screen. But see, like this is the power of these is we can like tank these. Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa. The only thing is lag, server lag. <laughs> It's not too much lag, it's just a tiny We gotta bit. check the ping. Check the ping time. <laughs> it's over 200! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> get off of the Taiwan servers! <laughs> we need to get they're, to the California wake, servers. They're, they're waking up in Taiwan. <laughs> oh no! It's like when you're playing a multiplayer online game and then uh, you're just like soloing against teams and then all of a sudden like a team joins and they all have the same Asian characters to start and you're like, we're done. There's, <laughs> there's no, chance. no chance. There's no chance. These people dedicate their lives. It's, they're all on mics. You can just hear them all talking. You're like, no. Okay, oh, that yeah. was, that was, I think we out DPS'd that boss. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think. I like the spread shot, because you never know when things are coming at the top and the bottom. So, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm definitely noticing that I think you certainly have more lives than me. I mean, there's no way I've Two died more. so many yeah. times. Oh, Holy boy. Holy oh, shit. Crash okay, compactor. Okay, okay, okay. Get okay. through it. Get through it. Oh <laughs> my god. It. Oh no. Evasive maneuvers. Evasion builds. Okay, uh, this is insane. This is getting, yeah, it's getting crazy now. But I like this multi shot. I want to see though what our like explosive, yes, like antimatter rifle powers would be like. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah, because okay. this is a shotgun effect. Oh, yeah. Extra points. Shotgun. Oh, no, molecules. Vibrating molecules. No. Okay. This is a great game. This is a great shooter. Nice to just hang out with your friends and just like blast some blast. aliens together. Blast some alien scum. And the fact that we're oh, like oh. we're oh, like geez. doing better because it's the two of us is is a cool feeling. You're yeah. Like, you know, and then if someone dies, it really it does feel like a team death match. You know, That's where right. we're like it does. Who is the big guy named Camouflage? Oh, oh, Open. Oh, 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 oh my god. I was looking over, looking away. Yeah, the I saw. Wrong I saw. Time. I made a, I made a calculation, and I was if like, if it Let's opens, get through. go through it after it opens. But if it's already open, I wouldn't go for it because you, you don't know when it's gonna close. Oh. Space rocks. Yeah, okay, what okay. are those things? They're weird. Looks like they shoot off if you don't uh, shoot them quick enough. So I think we're on track for a million, right? Like, we're getting weapon? close. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> New arms! Yes! Explosions! Oh, it Whoa! Is, it is slower. It's slower, but more powerful. I'm gonna go on, uh, go save that for the boss. I think a regular laser is all we need. Think so? <laughs> Are you doing right regular? No, I'm doing, doing I'm doing spread. Spread's it's, doing it's working so, really well. I think spreads the especially with two players, like the oh, amount. God, if we just if we just screen. practically hover like in the same, like we can create this what like if we could just stand still. Well the thing is is especially if we hit these positions, like Oh, oh! No We can, but should we? That's no. No one ever asked, should we? There's a movie, <laughs> I don't know what line that's from. It's like uh, it's Jurassic Park. Is it Jurassic Park? Yes, like, it is. It's like, what was it? We can, but no, we we asked the question if we could, but no one ever asked if we should. I think it was something like that. Uh, it's something like that, but it's oh my god. Whoa! Oh, we have immunity. Oh no! I was looking. I was looking for my coffee. I'll wait till we. Whoa! Hit Whoa. a million! No, 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 no! Oh my god! I was oh gonna say, god. well, you know, I was gonna say until we die. Oh no, god. man, I'm not. So, what the hell is going until, on? Until we hit our hit our. <gasps> oh no! Shoot no, it! No, shoot no, it! Shoot no, it! Shoot no, it! No! Oh my God! No. Go up! Okay, shoot. okay. No miscalculations. Oh my Whoa. God! Okay, I think we I think we managed to out DPS. Go through. 
Yeah. The boss. Now it's time Holy we gotta play shit. properly. Holy shit. Okay, we got some points. Extra points. Get some points. Okay, oh. we're only how far away are we <laughs> from a million? A million. <laughs> uh very, very far. That I'm you... thinking I'm thinking we'll hit it. <laughs> Who is? Ah! No! No! Death. Oh, dude, I don't get. I'm like behind. Oh, oh. No. First death. The wrong side of the elephant. I think uh, putting the top scores a million is uh, a little ambitious. <laughs> Usually. Oh, down, down, down. Oh, no, I made the wrong choice. No! <laughs> so. Oh, whoa. I need that. Oh, shit. Oh, I oh, missed shit. it. Or somebody missed it. I got it. I, oh, good. I'm sorry. Okay. I, well, I kind you of needed blocked. it anyway. Oh. Uh, down. No, wrong choice. It's yeah, wrong. when when that happens, we, Go have to, together. we have to double up. Down. Okay. Yeah, we have to double up when those come up. Or torpedo. Uh, true. That would work, but it might. We might not be able to switch quick enough. Yeah, and nor do I know. Like in theory, the what torpedo the is good. <gasps> no. Oh my god. Oh my god. New arms. Oh, let's do it. Uh, what? What? <laughs> I think it's a one one shot deal, maybe. Oh. We wasted it. No. Oh no, you died. No, we wasted it. I think we did. Uh. I think that's for the boss. Boss only. Yeah, it's gone. Both of ours are gone. No. No. no! I tried to evade. To get into the I think middle. We're gonna hit our limit soon. <laughs> I think. I think we're on track for a million. <laughs> Both at 27, 26,000. Yeah. That's on track, you know. Uh, who's it's to tracking. say how long? <laughs> but we're on, a, we're on a track. Oh, is that boss? Um, no, mid boss. Is it mid boss? Oh, it's tough. No, it's boss, maybe. No! Oh, I, <gasps> I switched to. The big oh, I should have switched. I tried. I can't imagine this wave with one player. It's hard. Good. Oh, you're done. I'm well, done. now we're gonna see what one player does. It's death for me soon. No, death from all directions, dude. Like, does it scale down? No. Do my shots get better? No. You gotta, you gotta hit that million before we stop. <laughs> That's right. Our goal today is a million. So we're aiming for a million. <laughs> um, PB so far is... 29, 440. Which, to be fair, is where we are right now. So, by this oh, logic... Oh, it's only giving me one now. It's no. like, oh, the other guy's These gone. diamonds are just... They're pretty resilient. Oh, my God. And they kind of, like, they just keep moving. Yeah. There we go. I got most of them. You don't... Usually in games, you earn the power-ups by killing the enemies and this one it just gives it gives them to you at a certain point yeah and they seem Which to be like interesting. somewhat prescribed as well like yes like it's like it it's seems like at a certain order. point it's like here and they seems to be almost like oh like it'll kind of rotate like you know you know there isn't an rng element of like which one do you get it no. seems to be like you get like points then life then um and then a new weapon points life then a new weapon yeah I could be wrong, but that seems to be what... Don't turn your back on the color cycling diamonds. Oh, oh yeah. new enemy. Holy shit, New no. enemy just dropped. No. Oh! It's launching the things. And what? it's circling. Are you Get off the screen. Get out of here. I love no. it. In this game, like, there's no guarantee that they will Duh. come back. Like Multiple times. Uh-oh. Look at this ruined city in the background. I get yeah. to appreciate this, the, the landscape. That's right. When you're playing the game, you can't even notice those things but uh yeah it's really nice a bunch of launch pads and domes whoa oh the, oh my god kind of look like a xenomorph sort of a little bit you know like those, yeah like those curled up uh like creature yes yeah. very cool design very nice design and uh good use of the number of colors that it's able to use i think it's like I don't know. Four colors? It's beautiful. Like the blue Certain and parts. magenta is very like steampunk kind of vibe, you know, like that kind of like cyberpunk. Yeah. Sorry, not, not steampunk. Pastel -y. I mean, cyberpunk is what I mean. Like that kind of like that future neon kind of Blade Runner y like color palette, you know? Yeah, very soft colors. Oh, God. And I still, and he just looks like Master Chief to me <laughs> so much. 100%. It's that helmet, right? Oh, God. 
Oh, did he just fire? God, this is brutal. Come on, what open you... up. Might need that's this honestly that uh, might have been you needed yep. the the the, the switch have weapons. Switched. Oh, it automatically fires it. Yeah, when you switch, switch weapons. To it. Switch oh, weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I don't so know slow. if it's going to like Ah. Uh, you have to you only get one of those special shots. And how do you slide through? You, it's not big enough. Oh. Who's this? You got on the le leaderboard. Player one. Is that you? Oh, that's me. Is it? Yeah. Yay! Okay. Yeah! Dude, we're gonna... Awesome. That was a great shooter. It gets hard very quick. And I don't know how to get through those things. Because there is two of them, and I only had one super shot. I'm sure the super shot would get it, but... But then there was multiple ones. Yeah, so that's not the solution. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next game. Oh, they said it probably goes away when you kill the enemy. Oh, the enemy's behind the well, barrier. But it opened up a little slot. Oh, you might be right. That's hard. RC-70 with the tactics, dude. Yeah? Dude story, okay. Dude story. Okay. So this is an exclusive update. Ooh. Thank you so much, MQ, for sending this over. Uh, Mariush Ehechtet is his name. Uh, this build is from today. It Mariette. is fresh, fresh, fresh. He saw that we we're gonna play his game. He said, hey, do you want the latest? And I said, yes, definitely want the latest. Mariush, coming in. Um, this is a 44K game. Uh, it's first posted uh, May 22nd, 2020, so it's been in the works for four years. Um, so, this version, 1.1 beta test. This is going to be out uh, in a week or so. Yo, does so, this make I us think? beta testers? In a few days, this is going to come out. Uh, yeah, live beta testers. Yes. That's, that's our official title on this show, nice. live beta testing, because we do find some stuff. 2024, yeah, he'll, he'll do the update. Um, so this is the English language version. There's also a Polish version, nice. uh, if you speak that language. Uh, oh, you I don't to, know if you, you know this about me. the 2023 me. to 2024. I'm actually uh, not fluent in Polish. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm not fluent in a bunch of languages, actually. <laughs> it might surprise you, but I know you thought I was fluent in Polish. What's, what's but... the joke? Um, oh, damn it, I missed it. It's like multilingual. Oh, I'm illiterate in three languages or something. Oh, what is it? Damn it. Don't say a joke if you don't know the joke. It just doesn't work. <laughs> okay. That's, I still get it, though. Okay. Press fire. Press play. fire. Nice little uh, intro What's screen her? there. Whoa, look at our guy. So this is a platform. Is everything going to kill me? No. The spiders do, and those bugs do. The, the uh, bees going up and down. You have to collect the apples. That's your goal. So that's an apple. Um... And your apple's on the right-hand side, your lives are on the left-hand side. Hmm. Is this all, this is just a bait. I gotta get under the second. Nope. Uh, you can go up the tree. There's very subtle platforms on the tree. Yo, okay. Wait. Oh, I thought there was another platform. Okay, there's one there. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there. Is there one there? No, okay. That's just a, that's a trick. Keep going. No, okay. What is a cat? Ooh, now there's all the way up the tree. Yeah, you definitely do want to go to the left, all the way to the left. So this aversion, uh, the changes are finished and corrected graphics for the pile of stones, uh, frog, skeleton, waterfall, and treasure chests, and the underwater underwater world. Look at those clouds. So I have to cute. say one thing that is really fucking with me with this game is I have no idea what's killing me and not. <laughs> and there's so many things I'm like can walk through. Like, cause, yeah, because you know what I mean? We have like, I don't know, that bee. Does that, that kill bee is me? Deadly. We got these spiders little guys. deadly. Not that you should be anywhere near that spider um, because there's a lot of deadly water there. Water is deadly in every video game. You got to learn this unless it's a water level, then it's fine. You got to press the button, go inside. 
Don't touch that spider, he's deadly too. Hey! Shells with elixirs. Hello, sorcerer. We have a wizard. Hello, dude. Bring me a dozen apples. They grow when you're not looking. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that for sure. For sure. I'll get you your... How many apples did he say? 15? You've got two so far. Oh. Dozen. Yeah, a dozen. Twelve. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, no, no. Whoa. no I'm no, really no. bad at platformers, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> oh, no. It's actually a miracle that I've made it even this far. <laughs> Without dying? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pretty good. Because I'm pretty bad at... What happened? You missed. But I, but I hit something. Uh, no, no, you're all good. You're all I good. Still have uh, three okay, lives. Yeah, yeah, Those okay. are butterflies. They're, they're, they're oh. cute. Ah, j no, uh, no, you're keeping uh, it. Uh, uh, oh, you're only damaged. It's, it is a miracle that more of that hasn't happened already. They only grow when you're not looking this. creepy like weeping angels, Gamma Dev says. What? One day we need a platform with friendly giant spiders. Or you can make the spider the protagonist and have it... Oh, oh, you weren't close enough to the edge. I'm really bad at that. Up to the clouds you go. Why so blue, dude, Gamma Dev says. Oh, I guess that was a checkpoint. Nice. Uh, fixes and improvements. Fix bug when collecting items while jumping. Sometimes there's a glitch, a glitch left over the hero's sprites. Bug fix when the joystick was moved up and down at the same time. Ooh, somebody's got some crazy joysticks out there. Okay, I'm going to go just collect this apple. Oh, yes, get all the apples. Um, one thing that is interesting is up is jump, which is, there's nothing go? There's nothing wrong with that, but it's it's definitely like... It's because the button is used uh, for something else. Uh, uh, but uh, in this game, the button is used for going inside, and it's not used very often. So I would switch the buttons, right? Yeah, just because I, I do feel like being able to like move to the left and then jump. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, calm down. Oh my god. But it's scary because I'm like... Go right to the edge. There you go. What? No! Uh, 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 Let go after! I'm so I'm actually really bad at platformers. So it's a <laughs> miracle that we've made it this far. It is a miracle. Uh, 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 spiders! <laughs> spiders everywhere! Sprite! We gotta kill these spiders, buddy. There's a decent Wii game called Deadly Creatures where you play as a tarantula and a scorpion. Uh, uh, Whoa, good job. Literally now, every... there is a hole there that you can go inside. Oh, but I gotta go back. I have been in there, and you will die. Do you recommend it? No. Not for you. Not for me. And not even for me. It's it's hard. I did have to... There's a hole down there as well. more of a well. new game plus. Hole down there? Oh, okay. I don't know about that hole. I haven't been in there. I only, like, briefly tried the game. Oh, it's a oh. teleporter to somewhere else. Now, is this farther ahead? I'm going to go back and see. Walkways to the beach. Walkways to the beach. Uh, the beach. Fix the bug of playing incorrect music in some maps after losing a life. Great music on this game, by the way. Uh, improved handling of pickaxe use. Actually, that first hole's where oh, you get the pickaxe. Oh, spider trail? God damn it. Oh, no. That's scary. Oh. What? I can't even know. Can you duck? No, I can't even jump to get there. Can okay. you duck in this? Oh, okay. So Can't you needed to duck. Uh -oh. Maybe check out that area first. <laughs> Going backwards, it feels like. What's this? Ooh, oh. Oh, dancing, dancing hippie dude. Hey, it's what's the Radagast right here? Hello. Who are you? Who are you? Some bells. I'm the king. Do not, do I, do not I look like that? Will, will you play my favorite game with me? What's your favorite game, King? This could be... Bad or good. We don't know. Yes, King, what game is this? Tic-tac-toe! Oh, God. People pl say that I should not let people get on my head to play the game. Um... Oh, I guess he play. Doesn't, doesn't want to play tic-tac-toe, then. Dude, I want to play tic-tac-toe with you. I guess not. One-time thing. Man, Old King. Dude, you could do... You can help me out and get me some apples. <laughs> Maybe if you beat him at tic-tac-toe. Oh. Um, today we're using S-Video out because my VBXE is... Oh, you need a key. The castle? I mean, that doesn't make sense. We got a king. Yeah, that's a his castle. A royal game. Because my VBXE is a little wonky and I don't want the colors switching back and forth today. Um, and and the video, S-Video output of this is, is quite good. Oh, a little too late. 
back. Oh no! Oh, it doesn't go all the way to the edge. Ah! Does ah. duck not work? Oh, the duck does work. Good. I'm just. <laughs> oh no! How many hits can a, from a spider can you take? The ends are safe. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's but. I just, I'm doing it for content. Doing <laughs> Dying for content? I want to find out what's in here. Oh! Oh no! Is it back to the beginning? You jumped up! Yeah, it's back to the beginning. Oh, you lost a whole bunch of apples. <gasps> You're losing apples every time you get touched. Uh-oh. Oh, the apples are health. Oh, and they regrow. Well, you did say they regrow when you're not looking. There's Dude, so... One. So if you get touched, you have to go get... How many apples were you up get to? Get some more apples. You're up to five now. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, up uh, to heaven. Okay, I think... I think, oh, I, think my, I think my skill set might be... Uh, topped out? We'll see, we'll see. We'll okay, see. let me just read the rest of this, and then I'll... And I'll uh, pass off to someone yeah. who knows how to play platform. Fixed a bug that allowed for shortcuts to collect the ore. Fixed... The ore? Oh, so we have to go, get, go across oh. some water. Holy shit. Um, fix for accidental ore throwing bug. Jump inscription move, better visible. Shortening the game of tic-tac-toe to six points, plus changing the text on the game hints. Oh, so you can play tic-tac-toe? Oh, you can. You just have to figure it out. Gotta jump on his bald head, dude. Oh, mate. Oh, you do. I just didn't know how to do it. Yep. Improved second castle map, missing enemies oh. added. Another music added to the maps behind the boat. The, uh, for the loss of life, we get consolation apple. Oh, okay. Well, you got nine apples now. Uh, zero lives. Added to cheat mode. Nine lives and full apples at the start. Okay, I won't say how, what, how to go into cheat mode. Uh, to do. Bugs. Tic-tac-toe sometimes displays incorrect king texts. Uh, uh, also to do. Appearance of treasures in the vault and dialogues at the end of the game. Uh, proofreading the English translation. Uh, planning to publish a complete 1.1 version in a few days. The game worth bo works both on PAL and NTSC. People in NTSC land. I think it's a little harder to play in NTSC because the game is a little speedy, but it's very smooth uh, and uh, flows well in NTSC. There you go. Wait, blue guy collecting apples? A wizard? A castle? This is Smurf Rescue with a giant Smurf! Was Ant? Yes! Oh, there were spiders in Smurf Rescue oh, as well. See, Interesting. I'm wondering if I'm just if I'm just ten apples. If I'm just really bad, or if the controls are hard. We'll see how you. Yeah, we'll we'll see, see what your assumption. I just I think uh, I think I just don't have as much experience with with like. Now, I might plug in my special joystick. What? You, can, you can't just plug it in. You have to play in the way I've been playing. <laughs> I will. But I'm also going to plug in my special joystick. My ZPH, where I can set up oh. to the second button. Okay, game over. Almost 12. Do you want me to use this first? Just, yeah, just to experience okay. what I've been experiencing. Okay. See if I'm just terrible or if it's, or if uh, it's hard. Up to jump it can be challenging. I, just, I think I just don't have as much practice with it. Oh, no, it's hard. <laughs> Especially when you have to do some of these big jumps, it can be hard to, hard to like, hard to land, you know? Ah! I think, I think also I have a lot of, like, any, I have very limited experience with platformers, and the ones that right. I do are like Mario, where you jump with A and move left and right. Yeah. Oh. Because I... I literally like couldn't like it took me like five years to jump over one bit. It's like, <laughs> no, this can't be. Yeah, we gotta bring out our secret tech. Yeah, I think I might. A little QOL. After I go in the wizards. Or the yeah, the, the wizards? A sorcerer, yeah. The sorcerer. He looks more wizardy than sorcerer. Pushing you know, up to jump. Also Smurf Rescue. Yeah, Smurf Rescue had multiple jumps. You pressed up. And up again to jump. To do, you jump know, forward. do you know the difference between a sorcerer and a wizard? I do not. Is it? What is it? There's a key difference. Oh, very school key us. difference. A sorcerer learns their spell casting through experience. Oh. Um, and they cast their spells off of their charisma. 
Um, and, but they have limited spells they can learn, and a wizard casts their spells off of intelligence, um, and okay. they learn through books. Oh, okay. Which are two very different builds. This is more of a wizard vibe to me. Well, he's got potions. Does that help? Does that give you wizard vibes? Got a little, a little apothecary energy as well. Okay. So now I've got... Um, well, up does also jump. Apparently we have issues nope. playing the Prince of Persia 8 that released that came out last year. <laughs> Probably. Oh. Oh, that was hard. I love the, um, oh uh, those are actually two of my favorite games. The Prince of Persia games on the PlayStation are incredible games. Um, the Warrior Within and just the first Prince of Persia are, yeah. like, actually, like, almost masterpieces, man. They're so good. What's so cool is the you can reverse time through your time dagger. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so it, it's, it functions as, like, a, like... <gasps> As like a save life, right? Like if you die, you can rewind time. Uh, Gamma Def says, new one out is out. Very Metrovania. Is that like Metroid and Castlevania combined? It is. Samus blasting um, Medusa heads that knock you <laughs> off, <laughs> oh, <Medusa heads. laughs> off the platform. No, the Medusa heads. With a whip. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, a whip. <laughs> whip. Oh, is it? I'm it's doing probably, worse than Erlen because I'm just blasting. Is it easier game. with the the jump? Oh on my god, a? a million times. Yeah, I think it's just a. But it's also like if you're used to it, it's totally different. I bet. But. Should I go in here? The Lost Crown. I love the stories of Prince of Persia too. Oh no, the spiders took all the apples. Get some new ones. Oh no, is that what happened? They stole our apples. A pickaxe. Is that like? Like. I need the pickaxe, but we're not doing the pickaxe because it's brutal. Even this jump is brutal. Brutality. No, okay, oh, you. Because I had no apples. Oh, give me an extra apple. Just okay, I'm start. happy that like I wasn't as bad as I thought. I still pretty bad, but like not as bad. Oh, Let's now. This goes to the king, right? Back to its 2D roots. Prince of Persia, though, the cool thing about it that I'd never seen is that, like, it cre It was the true first... I shouldn't say it was the very first one. I'm sure other people did. It was the first one I played, which was, like, a real 3D platformer. And that you could run across walls. You could jump, like, off things. Like, it was really, like, very three-dimensional. And it's, like... Can I not jump up there? Oh, God. You have to... Ah! You have to jump here, yeah. Oh, you have to jump here. And then... Mm. And, uh... Hitbox is large. Large. No, we're playing again. Oh, no, we got two. Yep. Yep, I died. Don't rub it in. Yep. Yeah, it was, it was so cool, because, like, in Prince of Persia, you had to, like, learn and think differently, because platforming was, yes. like, in three dimensions rather than rather than two, so you would have to kind of, three? like... Oh, yeah. Because you could run across walls, you could jump off of things, you could go through things. It's a really crazy Still game. Dimensions. I mean, I guess, but but you know how like three it, is is this. But what I two is this. But up, you down, you up, could right. like but you could rotate the camera and cling onto like onto like a ledge. Oh, and you're then not talking about. original Prince. Of, you're you're too young. Um, yeah, I'm talking about his the, 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 N64 the, version. No, or? the PlayStation games are oh, so good. They're two, they're two of the best platformers I've ever played. But yeah, that's like that's P not what these people. They're play, PS2 but. though. <laughs> I, I I think I probably I played like so many hours of it though. Yeah. It's like, the warrior within and Prince of Persia. This jump is arg. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll bring you back your dozen apples. I need more though. Okay, I'm gonna play better now. Not so bad. This is a fable of the tortoise and the hare. I am always the hare in these games. I just play like. It's the Twitch Go way. For it. It's the Twitch way. That's right. Apples, give me those apples. How about them apples. I'm not going in there. Oh, these guys need to sync up. Get it together, spiders. Oh, there we go. The spider, he's so fast. I think that's how you do it. Jump, jump. 
and you and you and you could go back in time. Yeah, back in time mechanics are so awesome. And even on a large Should level. Go in here. Yeah, I wanted to go to the um, king and see if I can t jump on his head. Yes. But that's a it's it's hard. It's a brutal, it's a brutal journey to get to the king. It is. What the hell is he doing? Whoa, whoa. whoa. Go past this first spider. Yeah, this is smart. And then on this one, and then go here. And this is the king, right? Yes. There we go. He wants. He just wants to play tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Get on my head to play the game. Well, I did. But we're gonna. Try Maybe you gotta jump from that platform. Oh, I'm on your head. Oh, didn't work. But this allows me to get up here. That's probably the thing. Oh, the royal... Oh, this is the tic-tac-toe. It's in the sky. Whoa. So you always play center first, right? Tic-tac-toe. I mean, it's definitely a good tactic. And then I can't remember if you... Like a diagonal is not a bad Diagonal option. first... No, no. This. Hey, you can win! And then I win. Pretty, ba pretty bad. I think you have to, yeah. I think you have to play... I think the middle again? Oh, it's the middle. And then... Probably a diagonal again. Yeah, but this one. Maybe. Yeah, because it's cause there's more options. Yeah. Now I gotta King. block him. And I win, too! King, I can't say... The, <laughs> not an expert player. Well, he finally found some tactics. Yeah, maybe he gets better as time goes on. Ooh, Ooh he is getting really good. Bailed. Yeah. Oh, wait. You could have won. Oh, no. You could have won. You had he it. He won. Damn it. Because you had the... You yeah. Just... It's okay. That's really stupid. Too concentrated on blocking him. You got it. Yes. Yeah, I actually had it in two places. This is a very interesting way to play a game. It's like in the in the environment. You are winning too easily. You are definitely cheating. I do not want to. I do not play anymore. <laughs> so what do I get? Yeah, from it's them? like playing like Caravan and like Fallout 3, like 3D <laughs> Vegas or like what was the the Witcher 3 one? They had like a, oh, like a game. Went. Inside. Yeah, Gwent, Gwent right? It's it is like playing those like games within games. Yeah. You know? A strange game. The only winning move is not to play. You know what that's from? What? Uh, uh, war games? Yes. You've seen that? I have move? seen that as a kid, and that's where like they oh, they do so the, like the tic tac toe plays a key part. A and there's an apple that you missed. You got it now. Oh no, it's right there. Like I'm going towards the apple, but yeah. Oh okay. wait, you gotta... Ah, I gotta get this. <laughs> get it. Get to safety. The cat. Was there something down at the bottom? Yeah, it teleports you back. Remember, oh, I, I went through it. I haven't explored this. I whole took area one yet. for. I took one for the team. Oh, it's <gasps> the only way back. Is that? Oh way. god, that's why. <laughs> Brutality. Yes. Yeah, there's literally only one way back. You got it. my you, life. You got to go through the, Maze the spider. Of and I actually don't know how you do it without just losing all your apples, right? Oh no, no, no. you can do it. Just lots of ducking. Lots of timing. Like, Staying here. but see, like, I don't understand. Like, so what do you do here? Like, how do you not get hit by this guy? You jump, jump him. Oh, you can jump over. Yeah. And it doesn't like pop you to the main one. No, it's a little too high. To. Oh, so you dodge. Oh, I see. Yeah, because you can't jump up to the next level, and you can't hit the spider above too. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Much better tactics. Oh, at least you did. Now I want to jump. You up. got seven, honestly. I wonder if we can just seven. farm the rest very slowly. Maybe. Cause like these these appear and disappear, right? So what if we just like collect these two? Is that random the movements? Well there's two. Right. I, I need twelve. What happens if we collect these two, go back to the wizard's room, regen? Do they reboot? I doubt it. Like, yeah, did, did they regen now? Let's let's get this apple. 
and then go back. Actually, these two. We're so close. I doubt they've regenerated. It probably keeps track of every apple, and only when you've lost that apple. Yeah, there's, there's, where's the apple? There's no yeah. apple. Nope. I think they only regen when you lose that apple. Oh, so we need to collect one more apple. Which is make it all the way Ooh, back. nice. I there, bet there's one just over here. So I want to see what that sorcerer. But a wizard has a spell book where you can learn all the spells. Uh, so a sorcerer inherently learns their spells, but they have more spells per day they can I've cast. got 12. Yeah, go back. Oh, you're actually full at 12. Oh, you make some headway in this game. 12, you go. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Hello, dude. Bring me... I did. I have what you asked for. Thank you for the apples. You can use elixirs. Always take only one. Uh-oh. Okay. What are they for? Phosphorescent for the dark. Pink for the enemy. Yellow is rum. <laughs> I do uh, not remember the rest. I think Whoa, pink. Oh, this is... I'm going for pink. Enemy? Pink? Yeah. Sure. Who cares about the dark? Let's try it. I'm going to run away from the dark. Oh, pink's the first one anyway. That's good. Well, now I can go back past him. I get to choose. Yeah, but you only pick one. Oh, pink for me. Cauldron of the fireplace. Ooh, so cozy. Can I help? Nope. Just for just for style. I only have one one life left. I need life. Oh no. I said, please say the rum as a cool line scrolling the screen all the <laughs> That that would be cool. There's a there's a play style where you just basically collect apples and then just like get drunk with the sorcerer. Oh, do all go the apples come back? Go play tic-tac-toe with your... <laughs> Games where you can get drunk. How many do you know? Um, where the game gets all like wobbly and hard to control. Um, I know there are a bunch of them. Yeah, so I believe in the Elder Scrolls game you can, oh, but I don't yeah. know if it really makes the screen wobbly. It does give you some like disadvantages oh, yes, though. That's right. There's all those like wines and things like that. Um, Wing Commander 3 Heart of the Tiger? You can get drunk in that? Okay, pink for the enemy. I don't know what that means, but hopefully it's like a get out of jail um, free Disco card. Elysium, you can for sure get drunk. For sure. Oh, there's a boat. Hey. I need an oar. Oh. This is definitely like oh one of those games where it's like you go down to the thing to get a thing to then get to another it, thing that then is. gets you to do another thing to get a thing. Damn it. But the apples are our lives or our health which is good yeah and then the actual hearts are like when you make a critical mistake yeah. oh my God. have you ever played disco elysium uh no i have heard of it what is it a oh, masterpiece of a game disco elysium yeah it's an absolute masterpiece um, it's like a pure role playing. Um, so there's there's stats and stuff, but like it's like this kind of film noir style game. It's mostly dialogue, and it's one of those games which is just like it's it's just like completely unique and revolutionized like the genre. Um, and there's nothing quite like it. Um, it's really really special game, but it's almost more like reading a novel than it is a, a game. But it's interactive, so you kind of walk around and like talk to people in this like unique area. I need more apples. And, yeah. you're, and you're basically like you have amnesia. You've mm. gone on a bender and you've drank and you don't remember. <laughs> and there's like a murder you have to try to solve, but you're like re you like find your notebook and they're uh. reading your notebook. And you have like sanity, so if you start to see things that fuck with your head, you can actually just die from going insane. Like it's a oh, little Oh nice. It's a little Lovecraftian. Yeah, I was it's, just about to say that. Um, I wonder how many games there are where you can go insane. Yeah, there's a, there's a few. Oh, I can't go there. I'd need to go into the spider pit now. Because that's the only thing left. I think so. I think. I think it's over here, right? Um Yeah, that feels right. It's like over the right hand side. But yeah, but because the game's about you being an alcoholic, it's, it's definitely <laughs> It's alcohol. built in. But, but uh, the most incredible like writing and voice acting I've seen is really, really special game. Nice. Okay. 
Oh no, the spiders took the other apples. No, oh, that's spiders. that's what I was getting them for. Is in this area, so they're like, no, you don't get any any reprieve from dying in here. Yeah, I think just, just have to deal just slow and steady. Oh, can I climb up this? I think it is. I can because it's connected. Yeah, it'd be really punishing otherwise. I feel like you gotta kind of drop down at the perfect time. Like, cause I don't know. Uh, you it's can, too dangerous. I'm gonna jump and then jump. Yeah, I don't know if you can jump and not hit those. It is a pretty epic game. There's a lot going on. This is awesome. This is right up my alley. Like a platformer with the... Oh my god. With like things to do. And you have to backtrack. That's awesome. I have to go here. Yeah, um, a game called Requiem with Sanity. There's also like um, Amnesia Dark Descent has it. Um, and then there's like a, an old, really, really good Xbox game. Uh. Uh, Call of Cthulhu Dark Corner of the Earth. Damn which is it! Like How did I survive that? Big fan favorite, but glitchy as hell. <laughs> really fucking good game. Glitchy as hell. How do I get... Ah! No! There's oh. a spider there! How do I get past that spider? Can you crawl when ducking? <gasps> you can't! Well, how do you get past you that gotta spider? You eat it. I, oh, you do just have to eat it. Damn but it. I don't know if you don't have any apples. Eternal Darkness... Sanity is such an interesting, like, health component. I really it like that. It is. You know? um, especially when it, like, really incorporates it well into the game. Like, you're seeing things that aren't there, or... Yeah, a lot of horror games have that vibe, you know? Yeah. Because there was a huge um, horror thing for, like, ten years almost in gaming. What I think was cool with those horror games is they, like, they realized that... No. Oh, it's, you can be built got to move on move we're on. coming back to this game should i play it again yeah do know. one more one more do one more why not you have hey, to use Charles elixir Starman. elixirs for the spider oh but how do i how do i do that how do i use it there's only one button oh yeah i should have played dark corners again i was enjoying it up until i soft locked my save that's the, that's the the, the true challenge of Dark Corners of the Earth is how do you not bug the fuck out of the game? <laughs> it's one of the buggiest games That's of all terrible. time, but it's just an incredible like masterpiece. Um, so I should go this way, collect all the apples, get 12 on the way back again. Up! Oh, oh, random no. movements! Random movements! Yeah, it's hard. I think it's cool in those horror games is when they like make sections where you can't actually beat people. You know what I mean? You have to hide or like oh, find yes. ways. Stealth games. Yeah, and and like when you literally like there are enemies that are just going right. to devour you. And like I think that's because in, in a way like in gaming, the player always has like a solution to every problem, Damn. which is generally like you can shoot it or you can. Yeah. And it is actually the really what is really horrifying is to think of like some, something you can't actually deal with. You don't have the tools for and you need to run and yeah. hide like it's that's so classic. You gotta figure out a different way. You can't just blast your way through it. Yeah, you you know, you can't just doom your way through. It. <laughs> Although I'm all about a blasting game. Blasting's fun, but I do I have to visit this guy to enable some apples? I wonder. Because I could only find three on this part. Sorcerer, I don't mean to alarm you, but there is an enemy in your house. <laughs> Maybe it's just aggressive to me. And for him, it's like, oh, that guy's my friend. Dude, if you're he protects the house. hanging out with these, then you go into the spider lair. <laughs> yeah. If you're so, like, if you got... Why, why has my guy got to do it? Not fair. <laughs> Double standard. Oh, did you end up watching more episodes of that show that was recommended? Uh, yeah. We watched one more. Um, oh, oh, you were on the stream list yeah, the last yeah. time by my rant about it. Yeah, I'm just curious if there's more after that. There, oh, is there it? is. Uh, I was going to, but I didn't. Um, yeah, 
I don't think we've explored this area at all. Oh, we didn't even go There's there. There's like a pirate. Okay, it's good that we replayed. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Nobody will get on that ship. Oh, he's got a kind of snake pliskin. Look at this guy. Look at his art of him. Do you know what I mean? Oh. It's like a pirate oh. snake pliskin. I should look at him again. <laughs> oh, he is. Yeah. He's ready to. He's ready to hide in a box. <laughs> so interesting. There's nothing up. Oh, I can't even get up here. Oh, I can get up here. Yeah. What's? Is there anything past him? There's no way to like. No, it does that same thing when you go towards the ship. Well, what's up here? Silence. Crying clouds. No clouds. Now we know, dude. What, what if we give him the rum? Oh. Am I like? Am I? I think we need to get the rum am first. I, am I crazy? You're not crazy at all. It, that feels like too thematic and cool to me. That's exactly what we need. You to need do. the rum. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's oh, in agreement there. Cool. Okay. Oh, trail. the power of just exploring. Ah. Yeah, it looks like you can jump, but you can't. Classic. <laughs> this is Classic. a great game, and it's completely original. Classic Blender. You've fallen into my classic game. <laughs> You've fallen into the... You've been jibated. Hey, we can play Tic Tac Toe again. We can. I don't know what that adds up to. He just is like, I don't <laughs> want to play with you anymore. And you're like, well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, it gives I, you apples, maybe? Or allows more apples? Or there's like a conditional effect or something. Yes. Uh, no, Top right or bottom left, I think. Because you can't actually connect. He still got it. He's yeah, pretty. He's pretty bad at tic tac toe. <laughs> he, is, he is. is very bad at tic tac toe. He actually lures me into getting a, a, a three in a row. He's like, oh, I'm gonna move here, so you have to block me, and you also get a tic tac toe. Hooray! Yeah, this guy really needs to identify when you're gonna connect three and try and stop it because <laughs> he's pretty bad at it. He has. Okay, so we did that. I think we got some. It's more like checking apples. your king and being like, "Why well, move it?" And you're like, "Oh, <laughs> oh." <laughs> Can you go past the screen? No. Great walking animation. Yeah, I like he's blue. I feel like he's in a dream. Yeah, it's not. You know I mean? he's not like, real. He's, he's like in the ethereal plane, and this is like. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ah. You do have to give yourself a little bit of lead on jumping, because the, the hitbox is pretty large. big. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. No! Oh <sighs> apples. Seven. Broken tree. Apple. Eight. Yes. Ugh. Nice. Ah, oh, no, seven. No, not like this. The boat. Four. Bet you need something from the pirate yeah. for the boat. Now, what's in this? Oh, yeah. this is our pirate. We need the apples. That's that's. That's the thing. Like I like I do wonder if we can just like maybe they just regrow. That's like, that's literally. my thought. Like we could just sort of shift oh, potentially. Not, not if I keep doing that, I'm not gonna be able to. Now this looks interesting it's because it is. It, it's great. It's I like that Puzzle it's puzzle platformer. And what's cool Almost. about it is that there's like there's it's small enough to explore, but not too small that it's kind of like easy. Yeah, you don't lose your. Lose your way. Something you're like, oh, I know where that I is. See what oh yeah, they do regrow. Yeah, I think you can just kind of farm them. Yeah. Like if you just switch, if you find a way to just easily... keep going back and forth. Yeah. Just and I think this the is the area. this is the path, right? Because there's some easy apples. Yep. Yep. Let's go back. Check. Oh. Oh, I think apples. you might need to leave an area, oh, right? Like, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, I think if you like find um, a place that you can not that place. No, yeah, you <laughs> can kind of pop in and out comfortably. That takes all your apples. 
Oh my god. This place. Yeah, because yeah, it probably doesn't... No, that's the one. Maybe I could just go back and forth and oh, get yeah, that apple. Just, but there is... This is a high-risk apple. It is, because that bee goes... But maybe grab random. one more, um, and then you can go back, and I think by the time you get back, you'll have enough no, apples. Oh, keep going back, though, because yeah. like, I think if you don't get hit, I think there are three apples... In theory, you can collect on the way. Yes. The trick is just somehow not dying. Getting hit by the bees, not the bees. Not the bees, not the I've never seen that movie. Me neither. I've seen all the memes. <laughs> all the memes. So many memes, that gentleman. Well, he's, he's an expressive person. I think there's probably one more back here somewhere that I can just grab on the way back. Yeah, so I believe so. Hit. There's like a couple. Oh yeah, there's definitely one. Okay, now we got it. We're full. Okay. We'll get the rum. Okay. We'll see what happens. And then we'll go back to the... I mean, so there's a real tactic in this game that you could just kind of like farm apples and then buy up the thing, unlock a thing. So yellow is rum. I really love this. Um, I don't remember what the other ones do. That's interesting. That's a very like. That's how you hook someone, man. That's yeah, how you like, really. Oh, let's try it. What is? Psst, psst, psst. Get out of the batteries. Trust me, buddy. I don't think they're spent. They're I don't think just... that's gonna do for you what you think it is. <laughs> it's not gonna be oh, as man, much you fun. Oh man, you need another apple desperately too. Oh yes. Hopefully they've. Yeah, they're back. Make sure you get that green one, just to give yourself a bit of a buffer. Never mind, it's all good. <laughs> I need those buffers. Okay, so it's not that one. It's the next one, huh? The next. That's that's where I want to be, and then go to the right. Talk to the pirate. I'm sure he'll love some rum. Something will happen. Now, hopefully, it's automatic. It must be. Where are you going? No, it'll get. I brought you something good. It is automatic. Oh, let's see what happens. Let's you get happens. the bees, and you get the bees. Uh, I know that meme. That's so good. Oh, good drink, my friend. You can see the ship. Where I Whoa. get the oar. Now I can paddle the boat. It's hard to tell it what's just up. works. Oh, okay. Where is the oar? I get down. Just fall off. There we go. Oh, okay. This is a very weird ship. Is the in there? It's inside for sure. Oh, no! We need the... Now I need the light. Unless you want to just wing it. I think there's... No, there's two deadly things there. There's two spiders at least coming down, but I can't see the spiders. And there might even be more. Oh, there's 100% more spiders there. Okay. So now it's time to get the next elixir. Gotta and go, I need 12 more apples. Gotta go well, farm nine those apples. apples. I'm understanding the gameplay loop of this game now. Yeah. Farm apples, get an elixir, unlock the first step to an area to then farm more apples. I haven't lost any lives yet. Yeah. Which I shouldn't say. Yeah, that's, that's how you lose lives. You're summoning. <laughs> you're summoning it. Pirate says that was your one chance to see the ship. What? Well. Oh, no. Do, no! I have, do I have to get the rum again? No. You can just grab new elixir. True. I'm going to grab the... Joke. Oh, joke. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. And don't forget about that green apple under there, too. You often miss it. Oh, is it back? Yeah. Oh, it's, it just blends See, right it's in. like, yeah, yeah. I do miss that. But in the world of collecting apples, it, <laughs> it's important. One, one, one does make a difference. Huge. Although, you do have to calculate whether you want to, you know, open yourself up to that spider. Ooh, big jump. Big old jump. The spider, it's it's challenging, but not impossible. Man, now that you've got this um, 
back. Yes. yes! Man, now that you've got this tech of like being able to just push the button to jump, oh, whole new world, it's man. so it's really, really much better. That is why. No need for new 12 apples. What do you mean? Just Think go grab the new elixir. Oh, so since we gave him the apples, we can, oh, just, we can grab elixirs whenever we want. That's possibly true. Oh, is that some QOL? That's some good Ooh, QOL. Nice one. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, you know what? Farming up our lives I'm, I'm, is not a terrible thing. It is. It's hit points, right? We get our HP. Or health. health. Okay, well, we'll make our way back to the, the Conjurer. Well, that means that this game is way more beatable. Oh, yeah. Than... But I think you can only have one at a time, Yeah, maybe? which is a huge factor, but at least then you don't have to farm up all 12 apples. Thanks, chat. That actually saves that us is huge a lot. Health. We're just assuming the game's harder than it is. <laughs> Which is a good assumption with these older yeah. style Old, retro older games, style. right? Which one was it again? We need the dark? I just don't oh, remember. Let's I, just, talk to I him. just don't remember which ones. Hey, dude. He doesn't either. Uh phosphorescent. I mean phosphorescent? Uh that's a little bit hey Chad, can you translate phosphorescent <laughs> into Pink, yellow, teal. It's I'm... not that. It's not that. It's one of the purples or the teal. Yeah. Which well, do you think is the most phosphorescent? That's I would think it's this one because it's kind of like a green, that green glow. I'd assume the light green teal is what they're saying. Okay, thanks, Chad. Okay. I, I think I agree. Let's with go you. with teal. Phosphorescent. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes, thanks, You got guys. it right. Thank you very much. Now it's time to visit... Uh, <laughs> We're gonna go into the dog. But it's just too good, too the, good of a the game. The depths of the ship. Well, it's, I feel like now, like we've We're at least at least really showed a part of the game. Because I think if you just like yeah. collect some apples and just get killed by some spiders and be like, oh, we used to, there's the game. Yeah, it's like, not a platform. It's a puzzle game. I feel like now we're understanding like the true like mechanics of it. And, At least for this and section. Thank God Chad is here. Oh. He saved us so oh, much time. Not having to collect all the apples, helping us with a phosphorescent potion. Yeah. Like The apples are now just for health. Yes, which like, is... unlocks your friendship. You could easily, like, if you replayed this now, just, like, rip through it and understand, oh. like, the... I mean, I, I kind of ripped through this this play, but I'll rip through it much faster. Oh, yeah. So, because I have... Oh, did I jump? No, no, no. Thank oh. you for following Strawberry System! Oh, oh we missed the Atari 1974. Stretch break. Resubscribe. I had to... The volume turned way down. Thank you for resubscribing, Atari 1974. Hey, Alina. Yo, Alina. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Okay, now it should be light. Oh, there were ghosts. Yeah. Okay, what can I walk through? That's a wall. And it goes to there. Ooh. I, think I have to jump up on this barrel. More. See. Walk a little. The tortoise in the head. Damn hair. it. Oh my god, this is brutal. But once you get past it, I think you can you'll be able you know what I mean? Like you'll be able to fall. Yeah. Ah. Well that's what the apples were for. <laughs> barrels? Barrels? Okay, barrels. Whoa! They're very slippery barrels. Okay, um... I recommend <laughs> that tactic. <laughs> I just recommend this tech. Some better tech. What? No! <laughs> Aft window. Ah! <laughs> hey, please stop. It's a very expensive song. He knows okay, it. okay, okay, okay. There's your okay, way I think over jump there. over it while it's down. Yeah. Yep. It is within our reach. It is so close. Oh! oh. I found the ore. No, I, I didn't find it. I got the ore. I knew where it was the whole time. Also, what's nice is that, like, you still have seven apples. So, like. Oh, can I just. 
I can, can just fall off. You just drop down, yeah. There we go. It's like hard to get there, but. Ken, it's not a bug. Do you like your your rum, pirate? Are you enjoying your rum? <gasps> no, no. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh. <laughs> I have to go over him. Oh no. Oh, we just wanted to see. Damn you, MQ. Oh, that's great. How could you? Oh, that's great. Oh, oh can you jump and duck? No. <laughs> no. No. Not like this. Oh, this was so painful. That's so funny. <laughs> ah! I'm just walking through that second ghost. Yeah, you got, going to... you've got the apples for it. Psst, psst, psst. What are you doing? Yeah, now <laughs> you're good. That's what the apples are for. That's so funny. We're like, hey, how is it going? He's like, give me my shit back. <laughs> no. What did you steal? We gave you rum. Okay. We gave you rum. That's enough. I don't know what you're doing, but it's not good. Baby rum. At least we can have the ore. We can get another ore. The good news about your ore is it appears to, <laughs> to respawn. You gotta <laughs> That's jump right. at the top. Infinite. Oh, we can go way up. Well, I'm going way up. Can I get on that, though? Just do a big jump. Big jump! How big is a jump? If I jump off of something. Oh, I can keep moving in the air. Okay. I think it's gonna be safe enough. If I jump from here. Go for it. Okay. Okay, okay. So it's not jumping over him. What? What? No! He is drunk still, so he doesn't need more rum. Any ideas, chat? What? We'll go back and collect the ore. Well, I'm and gonna the... practice jumping. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I. Maybe the second platform is actually the one. Ooh, Ooh. you can get up there. Do you know what I mean? Like this one here, like oh. in the middle, because you can kind of maybe get out farther. I'm not sure. Where does it stop? It stops at this. There is one window opened in the ship. There's another window? There's a window. Oh, there was like that apt window. Do you remember? The one up top, up left. Oh. I still got five apples. I'm still good. I'm still... We're still good. We're good. This feels like a fever dream. Fever dream of a game, you know? <laughs> yeah, because it had the, what did it call like the aft, yeah, aft, aft window? Okay. Yeah, I, I was wondering what was up with our aft window. <laughs> now we know. Okay, well, this is a little bit easier and harder at the same time. It is. You gotta, you gotta make it back. <gasps> Three apples, no! Oh. Through the ore! Okay, okay. Okay, so... We're going back the same way we normally get out of Yes, though. let's do it. Is Custer's Revenge the most hateful video game? Yes. It is absolutely the most hateful video game. Where is there It's got... Gonna... Sexual assault oh. and racism. Oh! It's great. It's oh. terrible, terrible, terrible. Why are... I don't see it. Do we have it? We threw it out the window. Maybe it actually like landed by where the other, our actual other boat is. Look for it in other place now. Mm. Let's go back to the. Let's go to the other boat. Let's go to the other. Place. Let's. Upside down. The upside down. I'm excited for the for the I final think... season of that show. I think it's going to come out. I hope it's good. I don't even care if it's good. I'm just excited to see like what they do. Like, see if it, if it gets all wrapped up. Hello. Or. Hello. Hello. No. Nope. No. It's not there. In the must be in other place. Must Yo, be. I must have missed it. But they're hungies. You missed a beach couple of times. A beach. Oh. Well, it's the beach thing. Um, the beach. Walkways to the beach. Yo! Oh! Yo! 
Oh, we've never been to the beach never before. Been. It didn't look like an opening. It really didn't. No. Oh, the secrets. This is a game Thank where... Thank you, dude, Having chat is... So good. For this game? Oh. oh. Okay. I know where I am now. Chat's hell. Yeah. For puzzle games, it's so necessary. Okay, now we go here. Maybe you should... I wonder what the pirate thinks. We should go talk to him. Yeah. Hmm. Boat time. Sea depths. Okay. Are we just gonna... Jump? This feels like... Oh, oh, you oh. press it again and it sails. Okay, that's nice. Because I was gonna <laughs> I was say, like, jump in the water. I bet, I bet they're like, I bet somebody's gonna jump in the water. Oh, okay. Yeah, same video games as I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Yeah. Well, we have four apples. We should have farmed apples. Should have. I don't think there is any apples here. There's no trees. But the stakes. Sorry, even higher. It's gotta be higher. Waterfall of death. Uh, we should have more apples, but let's do it. Well, let's there's something there. Happens. So, should I just jump across, <laughs> or is it just gonna go blue? There's only one way to find out. Or do I need some special item? Dude, you got three health. Let's do a jump and see. Go to the right, all the way oh, to the right. Yeah, yeah, see yeah. if that like no. no. I need that thing. Okay. Oh, it doesn't hurt me down there. Okay, okay. good. Well, we're gonna try we're again. Gonna make it all the way back. Oh, you. Bastard. The stakes have been raised, dude. Yeah. Our water means death. Oh, no, the random stingers. bees. Ouch, bees. Not the bees. <laughs> Not the bees. See, sometimes they turn around at random intervals. You don't know when. Okay, I'm gonna jump even closer. Like, really close. No, no you need something. You I'm need an umbrella to pass here. Where do we get the umbrella? All of a sudden, we're playing uh, Boy and His Blob. This game is really like, get a thing to get a thing that needs another thing uh, to get another thing to get a thing. Yeah. It gets how, you to another thing to get into another work. thing to a thing. Never seen an umbrella. Uh, Not yet. Spider cave? No. Oh, what was that? That was the pickaxe. I thought that was a pickaxe, but what, perhaps that's actually an umbrella. No, it's a pickaxe. I saw it in the... Zero left. The stakes, but luckily there's apples. Yum, 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 yum. And yum. you haven't lost like a proper life yet. I think I was talking with Tanya the other day on the show about um, food. Oh my god. Food and games. It's like, oh, I'm low on health. I'm just going to eat 12 apples right. all in a row. It's, it's just full health again. Crazy the injuries you can sustain in games and just be like, just. 15 wheels of cheese. Literally. Oh, I'm all better now. Oh, it's good. <laughs> oh, after after you've stomach. been thrown off of a cliff and like <laughs> obliterated like cheese all your knees better. and shoulders <laughs> and body, it's like, it's okay. I've just got drink this, <laughs> drink this like weird bottle of, of something. You're like, oh, I feel a lot better. So now do we need more elixirs? Yeah, we need the, the enemy elixir, right? Uh, pink for enemy. I think we need the pink one to deal with the spiders. I think so. Ooh. Oh, you can... I see. Can switch trade. Around. I was wondering how that happened. Cause yeah. I, I, it's like I have one. You need an elixir to pass the spider cave. Yeah. I bet it's the enemy one. Okay, off to the spider cave. Dungeon cheese or wall chicken? Dungeon. Wall chicken. Dude, wall chicken all day. <laughs> wall chicken's the best chicken. But the thing is, is like, which one? Because the thing about cheese is its very nature is that as it <laughs> rots and degrades, it becomes cheese. Yeah. Versus like, I feel like you're just sort of ticking time bomb with, like, <laughs> with wall chicken. chicken. Man. Like, it's already in the wall. Somebody placed there a while How back. long ago? Especially when there's been some masonry to, <laughs> to secure the wall That's chicken. That's right. It's like, hmm. We avoid the wall chicken for now. Maybe there's some food safe violations going on here. <laughs> need some OSHA happening. That's right. Uh, I need. I, no! No! Oh. Get a couple more apples. But you know what? Dire dangerous. times, man. If you're. Like, what are you supposed oh to do if you're traversing a dungeon and you're hungry, man? You're gonna eat the wall chicken. There's, there's not much other uh, choice, really. Get 
some more apples. And then we're gonna go into the spiders of doom. Get this. I'm surprised there haven't been many top 100 games of all time lists coming out in the post 2023 landscape. I've been waiting on a new one really? to get some wreck. It's interesting with those top lists. It's like with anything. It's very biased. It's very biased and also there is a kind of, it, it tends to be a sort of looking back. It's hard to sort of say yeah. like, how good a contemporary piece is until you have a, so there tends to be almost like you kind of like minus 20 years and that tends to be the all-time lists because it's hard to like say like a game that just came out like how how does it compare like is it relative to the era a lot of them are nostalgia driven yeah. it's like well you missed this awesome game a lot of people think it's the best game but it doesn't have mario in it or and like also some games like in your memory, like all the shitty parts just erode away and you only remember the good bits and then you go yeah. back to replay and you're like, oh. oh, the controls, ah, but it was good for then. That's right. And that should be good enough, right? Um, yeah, or even just bad like gameplay stuff. Like I was, I was replaying Amnesia because it's like I really enjoyed it. And it's just nonstop terrible puzzles. <laughs> but the like the narrative moments are so good, the ones ah, that hit. But yeah. then the actual like, but I don't remember like having to solve all these puzzles like <laughs> ten years ago, right? Like, ah, it's like I don't remember because you you don't remember some of those like those. I think that I, I call them friction points, right? Like you don't remember <laughs> the friction because you just remember the good bits after a while. Okay, I'm walking through it. No, no, you need the uh, the elixir. I, I have it. You don't worry is it. Uh, what? I had it. Did I not have it going in there? I'm not sure. No, that's not the right way. No. <laughs> I, I had it when I was going in. It took all my apples, they but- They stole everything. Did you they? You hit the spider. Oh, does the elixir go away when I hit the spy? Oh, I see, because there's one particular spider. <sighs> that you need it for. Yep. Okay, okay. Well, I need okay, more okay, apples okay. anyway. Okay. okay, let's do this. We got this. One life left. You lost the elixir. We know. We'll get it okay. back. It, it can be rebuilt. It will be rebuilt. Kidding. You know the scene in Robocop when he's just fucking like... His, his gun up. isn't working, he's been dismantled, and he's like trying to figure out the. That's us right now. <laughs> we're, we're just like retargeting, we're gonna come back yep. stronger with our elixir. We just gotta hang out in this like weird warehouse for a bit and just <laughs> figure out our, our yeah. aiming system. But once we have our aiming system, we're back. Hi. Don't worry. Hi. Oh, yeah, you'll get some treats in a second. There's one particular jump junkie spider the elixir is for. Yeah, definitely. Yes, the one that doesn't move. And Which kind of right sucks because basically way. if you make one mistake, it's like... It's over. You have to exit. Yeah. But can you even exit? You might not be able to exit. Right? Like, like you just, death. You're exit just dead. By death. See, this is the gauntlet, man. Oh, I should go. You talk about the waterfall of death. This is yeah. the fucking cave of death. The spider cave. It's not easy. Some loth. Loth. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I get a couple more apples on the way. Well, it doesn't matter, even. Because I one touch and I'm it's over. Okay, we're doing it again. You know what's one of the coolest scenes ever in a movie? Is like when fucking uh, 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 Sam goes 1v1 with the spider, you know? Oh, like, yeah. Just, just, just like goes for it and you realize it's like he's high level at that point like he just 1v1ing a giant spider yeah that and that whole sequence where he gets like with the spider in the cave and everything it's so cool yeah with the pickaxe go right in the cave Let's see this is like oh shit okay. mm, i should jump now yeah yeah kidding Ooh, nope and pointless. Oh. Damn it. Oh. Well, we're gonna. Well, I don't have the elixir. Why put me there? Ah, that's not the right way. Oh, no. Spiders. What does it have to be spiders? Oh, yeah. That's the reference, man. That's okay. the reference. This is the game for After Dark. But we, I think we, we, we definitely we showed and revealed the, the true nature of the game. Yes. And the gameplay. Because I think, I think if we hadn't have, 
I hadn't have done a little bit, we wouldn't have really understood the whole purpose. We just collect things to get other things to get into things, and then ask yeah. chat how to help, how to, how to get through. You can do the spiders as the first task in the game. Yes, that's right. Because they're independent. Mm. That's very smart. Yeah, in a way, you almost want to just get that out of the way so that... You do. It's because that's a harder task. Though. Quite an amazing game for sure, Carl G. Oh my god, MQ, awesome job. Awesome, awesome job. So we're going to go on to a third game today. Will it run on an 800? Uh, yes. Uh, an 800, yeah. 64K, I think it needs. Um, it runs on NTSC or PAL. So left and the button, hold left. There we go. It's time for Lady Tut. Lady Tut. Okay, we're going to get the other this side a, of the spectrum. Yeah, and this is um, an arcade title. Good afternoon, Pseudo. What up? Welcome, 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 Pseudo. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just, I'm hitting it. Yeah. Oh, the iconic music. This is by ATI, and Square Wave did the music. It's released December 13th at 37K AXEX. Um, this is very much like Ladybug. There's spinning doors that you use to block and get through. Uh, you get a key and you go to the exit. Very simple. You can start it off right away and I'll read all about it. Ready? Oh, it's born ready. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? You're the little dude that's walking. That's there. You see oh, him? I do. Oh, once once I get going though. Yeah, what it's it's Pac-Man-esque. Oh, what's happening? You what's let happening? him out. How did I let him out? I didn't mean to do Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, ATI says, uh, last year I released a Commodore Plus 4 version of Lady Tut, a classic C64 Apple II arcade game. Last weekend I released the Atari 8-bit version 2, music by Square Wave. The Plus 4 code I wrote from zero, graphics redrawed from zero to. Now I ported that to the Atari. So this is a 64 Apple II game. ATI made it into a Commodore game, Commodore Plus 4 game, and he also ported the Commodore Plus 4 game using the same code to the Atari. Um, so we would have played this game back in July when it was first released, but it was keyboard only back then. And uh, the keyboard is not in a great spot and the cables make it difficult. So this is the version that he added in joystick control. So that's what I thought. Oh, it's time to play it now. Oh, I don't qualify for anything. <laughs> Can you pass this by pressing the button? Uh, I don't deserve. Oh, I don't deserve it. It's not. Not couch compliant. Not couch compliant. Give it another go. And that's all the information. Or do you, you want to give it? Yeah, you should give it another go because you killed your. You, uh, I your first life just went away. So you don't need all the things. You only okay. need the key. But. They are points. Is not couch compliant. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> ready, dude. And it could be couch compliant if you press up, down, left, right for uh, entering in the letters. No. But that is no. that's a bit of work. It's not too bad. So. Oh, run! Oh. Oh. I'm trying to be too clever. The cats are very, way, very hungry. Way too clever. Are you hungry? Yes, they're very hungry. If anybody wants to uh, do um, a cat competition, no, it's, it's, oh. cat bell competition, the cats are very eager. It's oh, you time. Yum, yum, Yo! Yum, yum, yum. What are you looking up at? The speaker? Yum, 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 yum. He's looking at the speaker where the sound came from. Okay, cat, it's you, cat treat time. Hungry for all your base. Should I pause? How do I pause? Uh, do I keep going? Uh, yeah, keep going until you die. And then we'll I will get things prepared. Thank you so much, Spitty B. Smitty B. Spitty B. Smitty. Smitty. Oh, Chow Stony Mouth is going to do it. It's Puss and Bets time. Actually, we can start the betting right away. Cats. 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 Okay, let me start the betting and then we'll switch over. Let's see. Start the betting. Start over under. Start prediction. Okay. 
put the bedding on the screen. You can still see the gameplay in the corner. I'm going to move these out of the way a little bit. So the bets are happening. So click on predict uh, on your screen. Pick a cat, any cat. Over another room. There we go. We've got. Come here, slippery. We've got Sprite here. He's very quick at eating, but he's a little inaccurate with the bell, and he's very easily distracted. And we've got Atari here, who's very slow at eating. But he's got a strong bell paw. Um, so they've got strengths and weaknesses. Now I gotta reveal to you that Sprite is a better player overall. There's there's a there's a factor. There is a factor there's here. An important, but an important factor. Doesn't mean he wins all the time. Atari can pull off a win every once can, in a while. However, one hundred percent of the time that I've been here, Sprite has won. <gasps> You've never seen Atari I've win. I've never seen Atari that win. That could be. That could be something. So it's a. It's a. It's a factor. I could be the jinx, or this could be yep. the moment that the the streak ends. Could be. I think the thing is, is though, it's like. You know how athletes, when they start at like the ages of like seven, learning a movement, <laughs> yeah. and then they and then and then someone like you pick up that movement. There's just a power to youth that uh, <laughs> that is. Sprite's got that youth. Sprite's got the, the edge of the youth, you know. And Atari. Got Thirty more seconds. Atari's he's got, got he's, he's got, got the wisdom. He's got he's, he's got, got the strength. He does. He's more of a clerical build. Yeah. Okay, 10 more seconds to... Be oh, perfect Apparently timing. I, I qualify, but I made it to at least, like, beyond the first level. So that's that's, that's something. Okay. Tuned in from work at the perfect time, Rendered Ghost okay, says. Okay, 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 it's time. Are you ready, cats? Are you ready for treats? Sprite is reserving his energy. He is. Is he going to be lazy and he, he ring knows. it from laying down? Ring those bells. Start those bells. Oh, and it's Sprite. And he still hasn't got up. Atari stole it. Now Sprite's on the... Sprite. Sprite's got two. Atari sabotaged himself. Sprite just pulled guard. He's like, fuck this. <laughs> and he's got the tail. He's Even with the tail wow. evasion. And Atari's got his first real treat. Sprite's way ahead. He's three ahead of Atari. <gasps> that was a solid up. bell hit, dude. He's very solid at his ringing. <gasps> that was Sprite's a... on point today, though, with his, hang with his ringing. Whoa, six to two. Six to three. The bells are going fast and furious today. It is out of control. And Sprite missed that one, but he's back in the game. He's oh, that's Sprite. Oh, oh stolen, no, stolen valor. Sprite, you got to be faster. Yeah, you missed your treat. Nine. It is game point. This is he's ahead by six. Can you recover at least one point, Atari, before the game is over? And the answer is. No, it's 10-3. What a devastating loss. That was sad, sad, sad. <laughs> shotgun. There you go, shotgun <laughs> approach. So let's see what happened. Um, wow, what starving cats. I'm yeah. telling you guys, if I'm here, <laughs> it's just no chance. Even, even if I'm just watching, I know. I don't have to be here. So 10 to 3 person. by 7 points. Okay, let's... Give out. Who? Oh, not many bets on Sprite Three Plus. That's what I would have bet. Yeah. Let's see what. Let's see who got it. Biggest scap, uh, score gap. I think so. How many people? Vitoko and three others. Yo. So just small bets though. So Vitoko splits the pot. A pretty big pot of twenty-two thousand points. That is big. There we go. Sprite is the winner. The treats were the problem today many stolen treats by Atari. Oh, yeah. The problem is cats don't care. They're like, treat? I don't care about ringing the bell. If I get a treat, I get a treat. Yeah. I don't care about winning. The Lynx Jinx. Might need to add a new, a few more spreads. <laughs> yeah. Seven plus. Five plus. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's get back to the game. My turn. Let's see. Uh, let's check this game out. How are you finding it? Challenging. Uh, actually, once I once I did like uh, my second playthrough, I got like three times better. Made it to like the third oh, yeah. third level. So uh, once I sort of figured out the tactics of this, I think this is a game that does reward patience. Um, it's less Pac-Man-y yes. in that like you're not just constantly hunted because they're not going 
after. You can and you can you can block them, right? Which is oh, no. And, and see, you can come in from up top, right? <sighs> yeah. Really. This should be like a safe spot right here. I think it is. You just gotta. But yeah, you see, like with this game, like it's it's all about blocking them because you can you can box them in places and figuring out how you're gonna get access it because you can come in from oh. up top or bottom. Yeah. Um, oh, I can. That's right. Miss and that one. And you can block. Like, oh, and then and now you're go. safe, right? So it's like there's multiple ways to attack it. Um, so it's actually a bit more of a puzzle game than it is a racing game because I feel like it is. with Pac-Man you have to constantly just go forward. But here, like you could block them. There. Done. Yep. Yep. So you have to really work with the maze itself. Yeah. So there's a lot more tactics, which is really really cool. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And two He's keys. Very ex two. What? But you gotta get the first keys? one and then the second oh. one. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, so you un appears? unlock it and then, oh, and, then I see. and then the next one will open. So yeah, here you can block them and then you're oh, safe. Oh, you can be completely safe. Yeah, and so here I just really was very no. like, I just really took my time for this this section because because it's like swarming I there. Yeah, um, there's but, so many guys. But it's there. actually not hard. Like I came in from like up top so and just, just waited and barred them guy. out. Cause, cause you see, if you just wait. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And you can, you can like get that guy to even leave potentially. There's no time limit. That's Ooh, right. If they're get out of here, if they go up and kind of get out of the way enough. Like and now, that. and you can also, <gasps> you can also no, box scared. them in like um, with that bottom one, right? Because if it goes, you can stop them from moving. True. So that's there are there's a lot of tactics in this one, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah, they, they want the option of being able to Would leave. Would you like the option, the illusion of freedom? Okay, the illusion of freedom. <laughs> no, it's real freedom, they say. It's real. It's so funny, with, especially with cats. Some some cats just, like, die to go outside. Yeah. And you just, you let them out, and they're like, Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why? I want to be back Why did I choose These guys this? fly through, though, right? What? So that's, like, a oh, bit more no. fucked. Or that might have just been a glitch. Well, I think it's if you. I yeah. think if you do it like right on the the movement. Yeah, they can get through it. It's right on the movement. That's a very Oh, that's not too hard. Me to be. Get get get. Block there, them off. There, yes. then block them off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's like to me. This game is actually more about trapping enemies than it is. Like I think that's such a oh, clear path. In a way, like this game. Boxing enemies. You, if there were like a more like advanced like level it should have like points are like depreciating over time so there's a speed because there's no like yes there's no like downside to to taking your time really really that a guy just appeared right in front of me yeah, give, give another run why not okay give another go i mean i did okay but i really but but i think now used... that you, now that you got the tactics down oh, like... you went for more treasure than i did <laughs> yeah i i was playing fast and loose at the beginning um, rather than tactical, oh, I should have switched that. Yeah, because you can you can... hit box. <laughs> you yeah, saw you it, can, everyone. You I can box you can box, box guys in, right? Oh no, this is going well. <laughs> this is going very poorly. Oh, you can stop. Yeah. If you hit the wall. If you press down against the wall. Yeah, yeah. So, like, a lot of this game, I think, is Damn more it. about, like, taking your time. Oh, yeah. terrible. He's got to be, like... Oh, stop there. He'll, he'll go through, though, eventually. Like, he'll go to the right, and then you can just I need down. him to go to the right and, yep. and down. Now he's safe. There he's we go. Be careful. Mm. Ooh, I... This is definitely a game more about patience and, like, knowing when to do what, when. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, you almost, Oh, this is terrible. You can also kind of clean up the battlefield, too. Oh, man. This is... Oh, my God. Yeah, like, if, if you're patient, eventually they'll, like, they'll... Yeah. They'll just... Like, here's a great time, yeah. Mm, let me hang out here for a bit. Yeah. <gasps> Not like that. Now I just have to deal with one guy. Eventually he'll start to go, and then... Yeah, where should I... Let me just see where we hang out right here, actually. maybe. That other snake's kind of bugging me. Just go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, he, he will. He's just... Okay, no! 
No. Everything's what do shots mean in this game? Good question. I have no idea. Thirty. Apparently, we have thirty <laughs> shots though. Buttons don't shoot anything. I mean, maybe is maybe there <gasps> are things ah, we can blast. Ah, maybe, but the buttons buttons don't seem to do anything. Maybe I should hang out here. Yeah. Okay. So these guys are starting to move a little bit. A little yeah. Bit more. Oh, snake! Just get out of the way. I'm not sure what the shots. It, it wasn't explained. Um, and anything I could f find, I didn't look in the original games, so it probably explained there. Twin stick shooting. Oh, no. Oh, no, it doesn't. Damn it. <laughs> it was a good guess, though. Good shot, man. You never yeah, know. Yeah, twin stick shooting. It'd be, I think it'd be too easy if you could shoot. Oh, shot's 45. What? Yeah, it went up. I, I genuinely don't know. Oh, there's... Come on, dudes, get... This Go up! Pretty... There! Ah. No! No! Ah! <gasps> no! You, you baited him. Oh, yeah. Let's get out of here. With my... Fresh, fresh, tasty... Tastiness. He wanted He wanted a piece of my flesh. Nope. Uh. Does that seem in coordination? <laughs> They seem to be, um, depending on where you're located, they seem to have, like, it changes their AI almost. Seems like, to have like when, like, when you approach closer to that snake, it drew it out. Versus when you were just kind of hanging out in the box, it seemed to just sort of be on its own loop. So I feel, I feel like there must be a factor that, like, maybe I'm just crazy, oh, but it does it feel like... completely clear. Like, if you're close. Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's hard to tell because it's hard to distinguish between randomness and uh, intent in this game. Yes, good point. There are usually multiple paths to get everywhere. Oh, you. Now I'm in big trouble. No! Look at that hitbox. Look how big that was. That's was rough. I think you are safe there. Because that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, that's at because least... Because you could die immediately and have no chance. At least there's that. Yeah, that's good. Run! Energy gun. So you're collecting... <laughs> Blade injurers. A quick search says the shots are for an energy gun, which can be acquired in later levels. Oh, oh so... So it gets harder. So this enough. is like... The Dark Descent. You start with no weapons, eventually you get your pistol, then yeah. you get your rifle. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh boy. Can't imagine how hard it must be to say, yeah, you need a you need a gun now for this game. Yeah. In a way there's a beauty to not having a gun, because then you you're never you know you know you don't have to kill anything. Gonna, you just have to Yeah. I'm gonna open up this. Well that doesn't open it up. Makes it a little bit wider for them to go. Oh, well, that makes me safe. That's good. Let's leave this on for 24 hours now. <laughs> oh, it's dangerous, but... And do I get to keep my key? Yes, I think so. Let's go this way. Then I can just do a straight shot. As soon as he goes up, fully up. So these guys turn around so quick. Get out of there. No! <laughs> Okay, okay, you get you good. Let's go. More like hit crate. <laughs> yes. Hit room. Okay. I did make it past this level. My first go. Beginner's luck. Beginner's confidence. Oh, three of them. I'm going to block this, actually, so they don't get me from behind. Let's go that way or that way. You have m many ways to go. Just just leave. Shoot! I don't have any shots. Are those things bullets that you collect, like those treasures? I have no idea. All I know is you have no points and no <laughs> shots. No points and no <laughs> Going for levels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit. Uh, this is a game of just watching AI. Maybe I'll just go around the other way now. That was from the White Skulls. Oh, the what? 
I don't know what was from them, but something was. Now they're all back. Dude, you were so far away. Oh, they're everywhere again. Okay, get, get, no, go to the right. Yes, yes, stay, stay. Uh, no, no. As long as I stay two steps ahead of them, I'm okay. You do move at the same speed. Oh my god. Otherwise, that would be really Come hard on, mode. Get... Okay, finally. First key. There's a whole bunch of guys there. Get out of there. Um. So what have I watched recently? What have you been watching? Um, let's block that off. Let's get that. I watched... Um, well, Tanya was already in the middle of watching a documentary, the Madoff documentary, where it has recreations. Who, uh, what's, what's the... What's it's the... quite good. Oh, God, now I've got myself... What's the Madoff story? I don't know if I'm familiar. Um, it's the guy who ran a Ponzi scheme pretending he was investing it in um, stocks. Uh, good game. Uh, very challenging. It's a game of patience. Yeah, so he would take people's money, tell them they'd get 15% return. He would invest it, give them fake statements showing they've made more money. Of course, more people would invest because they're saying, seeing other, all their friends getting tons of money. So he would like have a nice big cushion. So if anybody wanted their money out, like, oh, I made a bit of money, I'm taking it out. He'd be fine with that because he's got so much investments. But um, then it was found out because people are like, what stocks are you putting my money in? Because the, the, two, the dot com bubble in the year 2000 happened. And they're like, how did you possibly survive the dot com bubble, dot com bubble and still make 15%? on all our investments. So we were started digging and they're like, ah, you are a liar, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and so it happened from them. It's interesting, they similar like with the Sam, Sam Bankman Freud thing where like everyone wanted their money back at a certain point. Yes. And then that was when the issues arose. Because he didn't have the money because yeah. he's been spending it, right? Which is such a classic. <laughs> it's, it's a Ponzi scheme. The classic a Ponzi MLM, scheme. MLM, dude. Yep, same thing. So we're going to play Vexed, Vexed, our last game of the day. I feel, I feel like I'm ready to, to, ready be, to vexed be Vexed or do some Vexing. I'm so not this sure. This is a pure puzzle game. There's no danger. It's not an action puzzle. I'm going to press the button. and Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll first, just try the good night. And... The first level is, um, so you go on the thing you want to move, which is the circle for sure. And then you move it. And you have to match things. So you move that circle again to the left and you match. So as soon as one hits another, it'll disappear. Luckily, it's already touching two at a time. Now, the next level is when it gets a little tricky. Oh, okay. So this is by under four megahertz. This builds from December 5th, 2023. That's the problem. As soon as it touches. So now you go to level two. I am the walrus. So that move that you did was not the right move. That's a good move. Yep. Uh, a new and original puzzle game. Match the blocks, reach par, but make sure no blocks left behind. Vex is an addictive puzzle game where you must match the blocks to remove them from the level. Sometimes three blocks must be removed in a single move. Line up the blocks and stop them from connecting. If you're left with any single blocks remaining, you'll have to start the level again. The higher number of moves, the higher score, where the goal is to get the lowest score possible. It's possible to go negative. The accepted solution isn't always the best. Hours of fun. And this game is on... He made this game uh, m on multiple platforms. Game Boy Classic, Sega Master System, Sega Game Gear System, Sega Game Gear, sorry, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, ZX Spectrum Next, ColecoVision, MSX, Sega SG-1000, Spectrovision, SV318328, Memotech, MTX, never heard of that one. The Sword M The Sword M5, never heard of that one. Uh, Cougar Boy, Mega Duck. 
I've never heard of these systems. Hmm. The Micro B, Atari 5200, Atari 800, the NES, the Elan Enterprises 128. Never heard of that one. And the Amstrad CPC. Wow. This is very cross-platform. He said it's written in C using SDCC. Some platforms, such as Game Boy and ZX Spectrum. Issue. Oh, no. Same Only issue. if those went first. Too bad you can't. Yeah, just replay right away. But it's pretty quick to go back to it. Um, uh, needed some Z80 at the video rendering level to get it fast enough. I ripped my own hardware layer for each of the platforms. It's been interesting to get to know each platform. Um, so the first time this was released, oh, you got it. Took a sec to th really think through. It's tough because it actually the first move is the most important. Carl G says, I played this a lot on the Palm Pilot. Very addictive. Nice. He didn't list Palm Pilot. Hmm. Maybe you missed one. Um, so this is the fixed version. It didn't work at first. Um, but a fix was figured about out by TMP and it was implemented by uh, Pseudographics. So thank you to TMP and Pseudographics for making this work on a real system. Hmm. Interesting. I think the pit is the solution. No, no. Ugh. Want me to reset? Yeah. Okay. That sucks. It's just too bad I can't just reset it because it's like this is a game where you just have to constantly reset. <laughs> yeah. It's the whole game. <laughs> it's the reset. It's your resetting. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Now, those, those guys and the block are equal. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. You got that. I think I'll so. move the block down to that pit. It is not couch compliant. No, you are correct. Actually, I'll try the other joystick. I don't know if if, I, if it's if I. Got I think it. if you drop that down to the middle bottom. I think it's. Ooh. Do you see it now? Like a, oh yeah. Like I think it bricks it. Yeah, I um, think you're right. But it was it was a good shot. <laughs> I think I wrecked your game. No, that's okay. The whole point of the game is it's too oh, bad. Oh, sorry. I was going to try with the original stick. Okay. I'm going to try and reset right away. Oh, you can. It is couch compliant. Okay, good. Oh, maybe you can do. Try up or down on your joystick. Probably no, if, no. I, if I'm in, in the game over. Yeah. Maybe in game over. Hmm. Oh, is this a port? Bricks video game. Let me check that out. Puznik. It does seem like a game that has been made before. But he says it's a new and original video game. Many clones share the same basic gameplay as Puznik. Uh, this doesn't say anything about it. Let me go to the other one. The bricks. Hi. Shouting in my face. Cat. Oh, yeah. This is the same gameplay as um, Bricks. 100%. Developed in MS-DOS in 1991. An updated version, blah, blah, blah. Bricks presents a player with an array of uh, square puzzle pieces that can be moved horizontally across a playing area. Each piece has a symbol. When two or more are the same type, they vanish. The goal is to make all the pieces disappear within the time limit. The player progresses through the game's 112 levels. Yeah, this is 100% Bricks. Why would he say it's a new and original puzzle game? <laughs> is that sarcastic? Yellow on left, green on right. Side of green. The pit. I'm not seeing the green or the yellow. I see this blue. Is, this is yellow. I mean, there's squares, X's, and other. Like, I don't know if this is the way. Whoa, what are you doing? Did he bite? No, he doesn't he didn't, bite. He's just, he's just saying hi. You don't want to drop that down. That's what happened last time. Oh, yeah, then I'm fucked. <laughs> no. 
And as no. soon as two touch, you're done. I'll reset it for you. Cool. <gasps> that actually resets. Good. Oh, it's down on the other joystick. It is couch compliant. Let me give it the couch compliant seal of approval. Now, where is that? Couch compliant seal of approval. Hi. Come here. I think I bricked it. Come here. Yellow on left, green on right side of pit. Yellow on left. Both, there's two things that are yellow. I'm, I'm guessing the green is the, the thing. I'm not like, I'm just not, Ooh, I'm just yeah. not seeing it, but. Do not drop that single one. <laughs> I think it's bricked. <laughs> what you gonna do? Uh, what you gonna do? Well, you got that. <gasps> I think you might have it. You might. I don't know. If it's Ooh. If you wait. Uh, okay, let's. I wait have a an idea. Oh, you got it. I think so. Using oh. others to move. It hurt my brain. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Didn't get it in the end. Okay. Do not okay. drop that single one. It's hard. You got to be really specific with puzzle games. It's oh, it's no. challenging. Okay, I can do that right away. Because somebody in the comments said these levels are way out of order. Some of them are so easy. Yeah, this is like some of, them, some of them are really hard. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. I feel Why are you like so much trouble with this game. This is such an easy game. I gotta go to a hard one. Such an easy game. Why but it's also, so much hard? but like much, it's the same with any puzzles, right? Sometimes things will just fall into place and you're like, oh, I'm the god gamer. <laughs> and it's, it kind of might not be the case. Okay, so I see one option. Oh. So the top one, drop it down. The, the left one, if you oh, drop it yeah, down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can drop that guy down and that'll, that'll clear Next up a lot of space. Yeah. This one was too easy as well. I'm going again. I think I'm also starting to see it a little bit more now that I've done a couple. It just Using takes a blocks to move other blocks so you don't wreck it. Yeah. But it is that thing with the, these kinds of games. Like once you see it, you see it and you're like, oh, yeah. My God. Oh, this one looks like it might be more challenging. What's nice though is that there's there's Ooh. enough of the, there's enough kind of um, numbers. Like for example, with the with the ones that are three you have to get them all at once but the ones yes. that aren't three it's like it doesn't matter as much Ooh. i just knock out the, i just knock out the uh I can't i can't can't what? do that why not because you... that'll drop down and then oh because you have more of the other ones oh, right right and that'll take that that'll take that and then i'm screwed Mm, Damn it! Cool. So that doesn't. It almost works. But if you, yeah, maybe yeah. I can do that right away. You can also tactic. just. You can also just knock down oh, that I first can't. one. Oh, you. Oh man. I can definitely do this. Yeah. Oh no. No. I can't. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> you see that one on the top right? You can knock that down oh. right away. Um, and then it'll, yes. you know what I mean? And then it'll kind of all work. That might be right. Then it might come all together. <gasps> no! Why does it do that order? <laughs> that's good to know, though. It is. Mm. Worth it's a, always seems to do the order that's, like, not the right one. Worth a shot. Maybe I can do... No. You, no, damn it. You could drop, try dropping the X one down into the center and then moving that like other one on top of it and see what happens. Oh, that could be crazy, but that'll do a two. That's a problem. Then I have to get, two, then I could do two and two. Well, I, I think it's worth a try. I don't know if this is the, the way, but it is. This is the way. It was an idea. Now, oh, I could. I do that one over. Yeah, I think and that's it's I think done. That's it. So it wasn't three and three; it was two, two, two. Okay, once now you, it's your turn. Once you see so it, that one was a bit challenging. I don't know. Yeah, once you see it, it's like, wait yeah. for like God mode one. Yeah, like, Dev. No. Sometimes things will just fall into place. Well, that's the kind of that's how what it, the entire that's game how is. Works, <laughs> oh, this one looks like a <laughs> like here you easy. go, here you go, Ireland. Because there's only so many moves you can do. You can't drop that one. You can't drop the circle because that'll get rid of it immediately. You can drop that, you can drop that, you can 
drop the circle to the left as well. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. See, we have three moves right here to start. Oh. I don't think that. Now you can drop, you can move the yellow over to the left and that'll get rid of those. And you're still safe. Perfect. Oh, no, not perfect. Uh, you, oh, no. There you go. Nice. There's always a way. There's always a way. There's always a way. Okay. Hi. What I'm going to do with that um, treat ball is get it some sort of container so it doesn't move out. Something with, because we did it once before, but the sides weren't very high and they batted it right out. So I have to get something with the high sides. That's not too small, too. Right? Have to make it work for cats. You have to. This one looks a little bit more complicated. I, I'm i just like, sometimes you gotta just trust your instincts for the first one, but I, I think I might have bricked it already. I think you might have bricked it, yeah. I bricked it already. No. Yeah, you're forced to do those no. X's, which screws you. I'm gonna reset? Yeah. Let's see. I forgot I had the couch compliant little symbol there. I'm gonna start using it more. <laughs> yeah, I'm... we need more stuff that they can do when they redeem the, the Yeah, because I, I thought of that, that ball thing uh, last night. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Because yeah. we couldn't make it into a game because it's too hard to keep track of which cats were getting the treats. Um, so I made it into a reward for the cats. Rage reset. We do have a rage reset one. That's a good one. Um, we haven't used rage reset. This this game kind of is a hundred percent rage reset. I have a new theory. Ooh, it's a bad theory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, that works. Now you got to get those circles, but dropping that circle, yeah, that works. The X's. I think um, I got it. Yeah, you got it. I think so. We'll now you can just do the that. Yeah. Beep. I think the seeker was getting that O over that before you got. Rid yeah, of. that was the order of operations that yeah. needed to happen. O O O, order of operations. We're out of level office. eight. Well, now we're in level nine. Okay. Mm. Uh, well, that's gonna go. And then, ooh, I hundred percent. I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna do the yellow first. <gasps> it's not. Oh, but it doesn't matter. No, well, I, th reset. <laughs> I think I think that uh, top one dropping down is like definitely important. Ooh, I think I'm screwed. Um, because I can't, I can't move that one, uh, and I can't move that. <laughs> now I'm screwed again. Oh no! Oh, now I have an open area. That doesn't help. No, now I match, no. match, and just move that one back and forth. That's smart to use the second joystick. What if I can't? What about the dropping just that like electric one to the? Uh, I think I did that the first game. To the left is that like that just yeah it does that it doesn't work. Mm. Hmm. I think I gotta use those O's. I think so. Like I I kind of instinctively feel like the top one. left. Yeah, the the. That there's something Ooh. there's something to be said about like this oh, this there's something here like yes. I don't know what it is yet but I can't move that. What about I if you knock? What if you knock that one over? Because I don't think it'll kill oh, it. Oh, that's the way. That is the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, got it. Drop a circle, not purging them. Yeah. Oh my God. Hmm, it seems like two different puzzles, but is it? Here's the thing. Um, anything that has, like, even numbers, you can do multiple different ones. Anything with odd numbers, you need to do. Like, the ones with three are kind yeah. of always the priority. There's four um, of these guys. Four, yeah, so what's interesting is, like, um, everything's kind of even so what's right. neat about this is you could technically kind of slowly do this one but it's yeah. hard i don't know i kind of feel like maybe yeah like oh. Ooh. No. the issue there Alan's is you need there. to deal with that yeah that 
that's not gonna work. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Let's try. Yes. Yeah, at least it knocks some stuff out. Oh, no, I can't get. No. I. Oh, I could still get that over. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, no, I can't. These will just all crash. Damn it! I think this one's a hard one. Yeah, now that block can never get over to the right. Whew. So either I have to get one of these blocks over there to match that one, or keep this one over here. And I think keeping this one over here is the key yeah which means i kind of feel i kind of feel like you could wipe out the um little like yeah i was just yes. thinking that like that's at least you know that's something then i can do these two which might be the might not be the way it might be the way i don't know can i go back one? <laughs> oh, damn it oh no if i move this out of the way then do this yeah you can do that then ooh, yeah no. you can you can wipe out that whole side yeah yeah oh i can oh i thought it was a platform okay then i'm good that whole side's good so maybe this one is dealing with one side than the other it it, it feels it feels that feels dangerous it feels, feels wrong maybe, that they wouldn't maybe too easy but this see the big problem now is oh, this get these three. Oh, hold on the top one on the right but dropping that down feels no uh, mm, as soon as i match that one, those drop, and then I, that's foobard. And as soon as I, oh, what if I move this over? Then I move this over. Then I move this over. Nice. <gasps> no, <laughs> I missed that. Damn it. A critical mistake. Oh, no. A blunder. Well, at least I know I can do the whole right-hand side now. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if the left-hand side can be done independently. Uh, no, it's S video out today. Yeah, the colors are right. I um, I did some. I I here you can you can work on the left because it's in a whole new problem. Cool. And I'll explain what's going on with my Atari 8 bit. Um. So I did determine, I plugged in my um, S-Video and Composite Out plug into my computer. The colors are perfect all the time. So now I've narrowed it down to my VBX E output only that is giving the wavering colors going from sickly yellow to proper white. That's the color change. So we're playing on S-Video today because I didn't want to deal with that today. And S-Video is quite clean. It's a, it's a really clean output. Are you doing the right hand side? I'm just, I'm just thinking because oh. I'm, I'm thinking the reality is is that I'm we might need to shuffle some stuff over to the right. It's completely to, you know, possible. Do you know what I mean? I, I was with my brain. I was just kind of calculating um, because I just think like there's not that many moves. Like this one knocks down and that kind of scuffs everything. This one knocks down, scuffs everything. Yeah. So it's almost made me think like I wonder if I we need to like move something over to then knock something over to then. You know, but uh, but my, quite possible. But I'm like, it's there's only so far I can see ahead before my brain starts. Come on, chess to... master. <laughs> <laughs> there's no master for me. Chess, I fucking 800 rated chess player. <laughs> chess peon. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like, I, I'll always say this about chess, but like someone who doesn't really know how to play chess or plays like very casually can beat, but anyone who actually plays will beat me. Right. I'm always at that awkward stage where someone's like, you want to play chess? I'm like, you need to know at least something. Because <laughs> That is an awkward position to be in. But then if you're like, a, but then it's hard because most of the time you're either like here or here. Like it's rare to yeah. find the middle ground, but, but it also depends how much I'm practicing. If you start practicing a right. lot. Um... So the VBXE output, um, also I've determined that it, another factor that makes me think it's the VBXE directly, um, besides the perfect output from S-Video and Composite, um, is when you press down near the VBXE on the top of the case, it does change when you do press it down. So I think there's just a, like a loose connection 
like a solder point has come off or and and a wire is touching not touching touching not touching so this weekend if i have time i'm going to take the case off and just have the board and be able to play around with like a piece of plastic so i can move it around and see what try and determine if it's just a wire and if it's just a wire that i need to solder on and i'm suspecting it's that i hope it's that and everything points to that it'll be an easy fix um, or it could be the rgb actually it might not be a wire it could be the rgb input where one of the wires is connected to the rgb input um the actual um, port that could be it as well Ivory Tower Collection says VBXE is just socketed into the board. It could be it just needs a new socket installed. That could be too. Um, just needs to be uh, either a new socket because the um, what are those called? Little fingers that grab the pins. Those might be loose. Because um, when I wiggle the cable that's connected to the VBXE. That doesn't do anything, um, but it's it's pretty stiff though. But uh, I will definitely uh, take photographs and update my hardware blog <laughs> on the Atari Age forums to let everybody know. So, have you moved some stuff from the right over to the left a bit? Not really. I just kind of like. I think the sticking point is that five dice. Yeah. Like you can't get the two from the left. I kind of I kind of knocked out this one, and I'm like, I don't know if this is like smart at all hmm. um because you gotta wear down now you could throw some things on the right hand that's what side. i was kind of thinking but also we need to throw like a the only things you can is the dice and those two x's but you like the five dice sorry the five and the x's but that's it but you can't throw that bottom five over because it has to get past the four. Yeah, like this guy possible. goes down, which isn't going to happen. No. Um, the X, if I throw the X, then this X needs to go over there, which, which is, is possible, but like uh, I, I really don't see it happening. Oh, yeah. You know? um, well, it's possible the original socket... Uh, that the IC was in where the VBXC plugs in could be worn a bit. Yeah. Crunchy the Clown says, I was playing Ducks Away and I made it up to 86 waves. I think I saw you post somewhere about that. Can't remember where. It's in Discord or the Atari Age forums? 86 waves. You said it was. it got really crazy. Were the ducks moving fast? Or were there just more ducks on the screen? I think this might be bricked. Yeah. You can get the fives. But but well, I can't cuz of this, right? Oh, damn. Um and then this you can't uh oh, you'd have to throw it off the cliff. But then you'd never be able to match it again. Yeah. Cuz you'd have to get have that to get lightning that... bolt off the cliff, but that's not possible. Yeah. The second lightning bolt. I think it's bricked. Can we reset? Yeah, yeah. Let me one more pass at this. Yeah, this and is. we'll give up. This is definitely Twitch gold. Watching <laughs> me just stare at a puzzle, being like, mm -hmm. "That's why puzzle games are last." Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good stuff that I like. Try it out. Um, I have yeah. to. Yeah, I do want to give puzzle games their due because people love puzzle games. It's just, it's a slow go. Oh, what other movie did uh did we watch? Watched another one as well. Oh, um, it's probably not your era at all. You may, may have heard of it. You him. never know with me. I uh, watch the Mr. Dress Up documentary. Oh, yeah, I don't even, not on my radar at all. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that show stopped in 2001. Mr. Dress Up, so what was that? That was like... It's a kid show, Canadian kid show. This guy had a, tr did he have a trunk that he would like? Tickle trunk? Yeah, there we go. So you, you, you barely, oh, it's I in have your some periphery. vague, like infant <laughs> memories of watching sort of early television of it but yeah like... i don't know if it cre he creeped down into the u.s at all like he made any impact in the u.s but i don't think so he was on the cbc uh very good documentary about him he was a protege 
protege of uh, Mr. Rogers. Uh, he worked on Mr. Rogers show, did voices and characters. Um, and then uh, Mr. Rogers was offered a show in Canada on the CBC and he had, and he said, hey, uh, Ernie Coombs is available. Why don't you give the job to him? And then uh, he became the beloved children's um, television show guy for decades, like three decades, four decades. So I grew up with him. Tanya grew up with him. Um, and of course they take it all the way to his death. So it's like a super extremely sad story. So you can't move that X. Yeah, you gotta block that X. I think I just made some big mistakes. <laughs> just trying stuff I though. I made a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, how are you gonna match those four? X's. Oh, I know. You gotta move that bottom X over first. Yeah, because I Move can... it to the right, and it'll match that other X. Then you can... Yeah, don't drop that 5 to the left. Yeah, move that 4 to the right, and then the X to the right. It'll match the two X's. Yeah, at least it'll... And it'll match the other two X's as well. I think you might be okay. I have to... The thing is, is though, is I have to get... Oh, no! Where'd your other five go? Then, oh, no. Where'd it go? Oh, damn it. Because I think this might be bricked. Fatoko says it might be that you have to remove both fives from the bottom and then move the top five to the right group. Yeah, you're unfortunately screwed at this point. Because that five has to get rid of that one or that one. and It's not possible. Shall I reset? Yep. I want to see what Vitoko's talking about, the fives. Got to move one five over to the right. Remove both fives from the bottom. The bottom? Well, that's... Yeah. Such the, a ripple effect with this level is. in particular. It's that, really that rough. first five, it's very easy to get rid of. Like, I almost feel like You this. just drop it. Or you move it to the right. One or the other. I think it has the same effect doesn't matter. I think I'll do this. Yeah. It's a little less destructive. Now he's saying move that top five to the right. Now you can move that X over and then cross that five over, which is, um, yep, which is good. Um, you can get rid of that four. Well, the, the problem is, four. is then it's going to click, right? I mean, I guess it isn't necessarily if I do oh, this. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. Right. Yep. That won't have any ripples. And then this guy can drop And that's that. fine. You could even get rid of those two lightning bolts on the right by shifting both fives. First one on the left, then the one on the right. Yeah, we might be on the right track. I think we are, because then you can clear that whole right-hand side. But, but you got to get those three fives together. That's the hard part. That's the trick. How to do that. Oof. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> bricked. Uh, it's no. Bricked. It's all bricked. <laughs> Unless I do this. No. No. Cause... Wait. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Let's pretend. Let's put that over to the that side and just see oh, it doesn't it doesn't matter it's it's start it's still it's still messed up let's just see what you can do on the left this will be the last last thing to do no oh you can do two and two on the x's not that one no 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 left x to that and then you've got the so really, that five, the five, has to the, yeah, the five is the issue. I think that's the key to the whole, the whole level, the whole deal. Good Yay, stuff. I almost got it. Almost. Almost there. Some great games today. 
So let's do a wrap up on the games. A little, pre, a little uh, mini reviews. Cyborg Warrior. Definitely S just like a blaster game. Just, just blast. Shoot oh, everything that moves. Cool to have a two person game that you yeah. can make. It's really fun co-op and it doesn't make it harder with two people, but it gives you extra ammo with two people. Um, great waves, uh, diff lots of great little enemies and bl blocks and things you have to shoot out of the way to pass through. We made it to a part where we didn't know how to get through, so there's still some there's still some room some to, to, uh, figure out. to figure out. Gotta get that million score. Yeah, gotta, <laughs> the beat top the, million. gotta beat the top end. Um, so it would be fun to revisit that and try and get past like wave three, I think it yeah. was. Yeah, super great game. Highly recommended if you like uh, shooters. Dude story. Wow. Really cool little de little game. Like lots of stuff going on and like definitely like like rewarding and the more you engage with it the better it gets. Like it yes. just keeps opening up. Great puzzle platformer and I think it's pretty even between the puzzles and the platformer. After a while you get used to the platforming and it becomes a little bit easier, but then it throws you a loop and it's like here's a room full of spiders. <laughs> Deal with this. Now it becomes a a platform game again. Um really clever and the the world isn't so big you get lost in it, but you have to use the different rooms differently as you progress through the game. So it becomes more and more complex, but you don't have to do it linearly. There's different ways you can approach the game. And the more you play, the more you learn, yeah. which is really cool. So if you like platformers or puzzles or both especially, that's a really great game. Yeah. Uh, Lady Tut. Um, um, great arcade game. Diff really difficult, but really yeah. fun and very like very much like pole. Is it should we do pole? Very much like Ladybug. Yeah. Um, where you have to flip uh, little walls. You have to get keys to open doors. Um, it becomes more and more complex, more and more difficult. But there's no time limit, so you, it it is a game of patience at some point. And there's a promise of a gun later on, which we I didn't make the, it to. I want the gun. Yeah, because you're like accumulating bullets, but you don't have the gun yet. So you're like, oh, I want that gun. Yeah, it's a good, great arcade game. If you like Ladybug, I think you'll like this game. Vexed. Pure puzzle. Really fun. It feels like a kind of bathroom game. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. The, if I had it on my iPhone, I'd just be like... <laughs> yep, it's match and blocks, classic game. Uh, uh, hard to marathon, I think. Like one of those ones that's like I can I imagine that being something that's like, uh, it is a nice almost iPhone game where it's like you pick it up, you play a level, you put it down. Yeah, you know, it's hard. I don't think that one I'd have the endurance to play hours of it. No, but I I would this kind of thing I could pick up like a game or two like five six times in a day and, and this like, one you can skip levels to whatever your level you want so you can do them in any order which is great so you can like oh i've made it to level 10 okay now i need to do a level 11 skip right to it see that's where like that with those things it'd almost be nice to have like i know it's like beyond the capabilities of this system but having like a ui where it shows you the ones you've completed and haven't oh, definitely not beyond it so that you, it can, you can save you can save on this yeah and this so it. that it would like there'd almost be like a list of levels and then yeah. have a check mark against the ones you've beaten so you could skip one and then yeah. like come back kind of like a multiple choice test where you're like i don't know this answer okay i'll finish it so i could see you being oh, like yes if you have like a hundred levels you could just like go it and then look and be like oh seven i can't beat well i'll move on to eight and then i'll come back to seven later like yeah this could be released in i think somebody did release it in in disc format but i don't think it originally was in disc format where it could save your progress you could load it maybe have a clear button if somebody else new plays it um yeah great puzzle game really um, that kind of stuff is like so fun not what? great not great for the show it's no. still good for the show but not great for the show <laughs> but but it is like yeah vexed on android let's let's go yeah there we go um poll sure if you want to do a, a poll of which game you wanted to play the most sure i kind of got rid of that because i kind of felt bad about it I don't like pitting games against each other. Yeah, it's... Hey, none of that. And also, in some cases, Everybody too, can just type it out. I think in some cases, too, it's, like, Which kind of unfair you know? when you have, like, games... That, like, let's say a game is a true work in progress yeah. versus something that's been, like, really packaged up and completed. Mm -hmm. And it's almost unfair to be, like... Because it's, like... Who or different genres. Like, we played a bunch of different genres today, and it's, like, well... Here's a puzzle game, here's an arcade game, here's an, a platformer game, here's a shooter game. It's like, okay, well, 
if you like shooters, you're going to pick the shooter. So, but you guys can can say which ones you like. Uh, the poll, the polls of the multi carts. Oh, it was on the screen. Um, I can rewind. <laughs> let's do the. Rewind. Are you the Prince of Persia? I can. Let's <laughs> let's go back in time. <laughs> okay, let's show it. Because I, I did read it out when it kind of stopped, but some people may have missed that. Uh, let me bring it up. MP4. No, that's last days. Oh, you have to do the MKV. Mkavu. Mkavu. The old Mkavu. I think it was before we played Dude Story. I think I might have switched over. No, I didn't. After Dude Story. Actually, you guys should watch this too. Might as well. Oh, where'd he go? Nobody doesn't have a multi card. Yeah, that was what we found out from the poll. <laughs> yeah, that was like everyone has a multi card. Why did it? Why did it go away? Cats. That's really weird. It's like. It's like not there. Um. Hmm. Maybe it's too big. No, it's like. Oh, I know. Because it's like no, you can't see it because it's using a special. Special ops. Yeah. Uh, full screen video device. No mode. No output automatic. Yeah, there we go. No, that's not the right one. Yo, what up, Atari? You can like hear it, but you can't see it. OpenGL. Video output for Windows. Do I have to restart it? It might not be worth it. It may not be worth <laughs> Maybe it. Maybe you can there look at it. There we go. <laughs> I got it. So that's where the poll was. Where's my bloody mouse? <laughs> I can't see my mouse on that screen. Oh well. Um, so that's where the poll kind of sat at the end. 40%, uh, one for every system for multi-carts. 33% uh, about 75% of my systems have a multi-cart and 25% of my systems with 20%. See, so, yeah. and I'm technically in the five category. <laughs> If I could vote, I would have been the, been number five. I don't think uh, anybody voted after that, but we'll check. I don't think it lasted. Oh, no, it disappeared by then. After Dude Story, it's already disappeared. Where's Most... the game poll <laughs> we're showing you? There's no game poll. No game poll. We don't do game polls anymore. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're retiring. I don't in, really like that. I don't really like that. Because I, I show such a variety of games. And in, in varying like um, stages of development as well too. Yeah, it's not super cool. Um, okay, where are my windows? Come back, windows. There we go. So let's see what's coming up on the show. It is boom, boom, boom. next episode. We have an exclusive world premiere of a new 2600 game called Goblin Sword. Nice. Uh, we're also going to be playing Fly Hunter and adding at least one more game to that. Probably two. And then on February 2nd we'll be doing the nominee reveal for the 6th annual Atari Homebrew Awards. What games rose to the top? The, the top cream. 6 of every category. 2600, 5200, 7800, Atari 8 bit, Lynx, Jaguar, multiple categories, work in progress, finished games, everything. Um, also, best uh, packaging as well. So, who had the best uh, boxes? Um, and the voting starts that day. So, get ready to evaluate those games and vote. And that's when we start the nominee playthrough. We're going to be playing the best of the best of 2023. Those are fun, fun episodes. Nothing but awesome games. Super good. Um, I'll have to say, see which games that I, I do each day. We have one, two, three, four, five days. So, we're going to make it through lots of games in five days. Um, and then. February 24th, 
the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards live presentation. Mm. I'm there, the cat's there, Erlen's there, the, Darcy's there, the Tanya's Nexus. there. Yep, we're all looking spiffy, giving away awards. I'm there in my hoodie, it's gonna be good. Who made it past the Iowa caucus? We'll know. see. <laughs> we'll see which 2600 game got voted highest in Iowa. That's right. <laughs> Um, and uh, then in March, we're going to have a developer spotlight on Steve Engelhart. And I've been seeing he's been uh, posting a lot, updating a lot of his old games, probably maybe in prep of that. Uh, so we show them off and they're, yeah, he's like finished up like or, or developed like five games recently. And then in May, we're going through, going to be playing every single Atari 7800 classic game. It is the 40th anniversary of the Atari 7800. Uh, so we'll be playing 20 games, 20 games, 19 games. Are, will you all be wearing I, Canadian tuxedos? I'm going to don... Denim, head to toe. I'm going to don a traditional Japanese kimono. That's oh, the... excellent. <laughs> yeah, dressing up. There That's you go. The plan. Uh, yeah, I know, RC70. It's ironic. I don't like pitting games against each other. I don't like it. I'll let other people pit games against each other. Just yeah. not on the show. Cause I think that I think that's like a once in a thing, and it's not like it's for the whole year. It's like sort of like it's a it's a different deal, you know? It's versus... a snapshot of the year. And also, work in progress are against work in progress. Finished games are against finished games. And it's you. There's that weight votes. classes, you know, it's, it's, there's, yeah, it's levels right. it out, right? There's different there's... levels. I know, it's funny. Lol, lol, lol. Uh, reminds me to set up the next Atari Homebrew uh, High Score Club for March. There you go, Dan. Yeah, Dan, you uh, do it, man. Hold some high score uh, competitions for the winners of the, uh, the games from the Atari Homebrew Awards. So, thank you for hanging out with us today. It has been a lot of fun. With Hope a you lot enjoyed of the games. games and the adventures. Oh, so many adventures. We went there. We came mm -hmm. back. Made some new friends. Cats were here. Like Met some new cats. No, same old cats. Chat was here. It's great stuff. Did you know that, at least around this area, there are cats on Google Maps? Really? They don't appear if you just like look around. But if you start searching for cats... Their placement map markers for cats, and people review these cats. It's oh. so like very friendly cat came up to me, was able to pet him, got on my lap, or not very friendly cat. Oh, so funny! And they have pictures of the cats. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hilarious. Man, uh, it's a great neighborhood when you have just cats roaming. You know? <laughs> That's right. Although I think with Saw the, new one the other day. with the weather at the moment, yeah, most cats are hanging out inside. But... The cat I saw the other day was going from car hood to car hood, keeping warm. It was like a really leopardy spotted cat. I don't know if you've seen that one. Hang, uh, that's the first time I've ever seen it. It looks very young. There's a layer of cat. Oh, I would love a layer of cats near you. There isn't one, but there should be one. So thanks for hanging out. Gamma Dev, Danny C, RC70, Carl G, Thomas, Thrust26, Pseudographics, uh, Vitoko, Crunchy the Clown, do, 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 do. Who else? Splendid Nut. Chalce Donnie Mao. Mike Latow. Rendered Ghost. Smitty B. Strawberry System. That's a new name for me. Uh, Bosianu NG. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Kev! Oh, I didn't even see that. Hey, Kev! Um... Oh, yeah, Strawberry System. First time chatter. Hey, this is Elena. Elena? Do we know Elena? Do we know an Elena? Welcome. Anyway. Welcome. So good to have you here, Elena. Yep. And uh, yeah, so maybe we'll do an After Dark this weekend. Don't know. See if we have time. I might be working on my Atari 8-bit because I definitely need that fixed. Um, it still looks good on S-Video. The output was very clean, but I, I can't play VBXE games and it, I like RGB. Um, so thanks for hanging out. We'll be definitely back Tuesday. Thanks, Erlen, for subbing in for Darcy. That's good stuff. Um, we'll see what happens next weekend, whether it's you again or you guys will just swap. Because Darcy usually comes every week, so we might just yeah. do a swap. Uh, nah, nah, nah. So uh, have a great weekend. Happy Friday. And we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Where's my mouse? I got it. Bye. Enjoy your time. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.